Good time of the day, all creatures of Warriors Champions Legends, and welcome to Kingdom of Aldana, where I punish players by making them sit around and watch others play Dungeons and Dragons. Previously, <laughs> in our game, the Heroes Terrans have taken a short rest after killing Oko in order to recuperate, restore their forces, and then undertake the exploration of the rest of the mansion. Uh, you found uh, a room, a locked room, with some gold chests uh, and platinum chests and a secret door leading to an underground shaft system. You um, stumbled upon a few traps, um, but found a chamber filled with acid and floating orb walls. You cut open the walls and found a lot of emptiness, a lot of loot, some artifacts, and a teleportation circle. Um, however, maybe it was in the vault you have failed to open carefully without destroying it, or it was not there to begin with, but you found no new data or information on the further plans of Oko and what awaits you whenever, if, the One-Eyed God comes. Afterwards, you've retreated back to Kreutzung, where you attempted to resurrect Leos, the ritual has failed, whether the arguments you given were insufficient or completely wrong, but this Lots leaves you with... Shit. Sure, sure. I would not argue, but I'm gonna take it as a, as a sinking character. <laughs> In any case, you are left with choices to make, whether you intend to create a more powerful ritual and try to bring back Leos once again or try and give him a different body to circumvent having to use the guns uh, and that would have happened on the morning of the 28th of January Aldana calendar the resurrection I mean however let us go slightly back in time uh, because I need to do an introduction and because something else would have happened during the long rest, which I have missed for the purpose of getting Leos, uh, Lucas a new character, which he didn't get. <laughs> oh, more like... Uh, well, you get what I mean. Anyway, previous day, 27th, you are still not fully rested, your spells are not prepared, thus the body of Leos and most treasures are left inside of the dimension plane, of the, of the demi plane. A good question, by the way, since you do have it outside of the plane, uh, you have planned to surrender or give at least for storage the treasures to the kingdom. Uh, will you be surrendering the book, the orb, and the plate? No, it, mm, the it's thing mainly the gold. Maybe mainly that stuff, like the ones that was in the chests downstairs, not in the real, like. Um... In any case, the book, the orb, and the platform you're keeping for yourself, and we'll talk about the rest when you get it. Yes. Alright. Um, reminds me, I need to save this list, and I'll adjust access for it. Just a moment. Um... Yep, let's go with this. All right. Anyway, so um, you rested, however you could, washed yourselves up, fixed your clothes, ate, cried and cuddled, I suppose. Uh, but uh, on the 27th, on the same day, you returned from Oko, and since you have asked for that to happen, Salan finds uh, the original group, at the very least, which basically is just Rega and Melora, and uh, tells you that uh, Pipip is uh, waking up, so if you want to talk to her, you need to do this now, and you need to be pretty quick, because she will not remain... Um... Manageable for long. Okay. 
uh, out of character, I'll be honest. I, I couldn't think of anything that I'd want to ask her less. I mean, if you don't wanna, you don't have to. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to do this. One second. I think maybe jump back to the scene when Tal. Never mind, it's too far away. Let's give it 10 seconds. Because this is one thing I want to do previous day, and then we're going to go back to... Sorry, I'm back. Yeah. All right. Well, um... Did you want to talk to Peep, or you don't want to talk to Peep? I honestly don't know. I can't... I really can't think of anything to... to talk with her about. I um, think... Uh, since I am in charge of Trago today, just in case of combat, hmm. right, sure. uh, I, th I think it would make sense that he would go in and at least check on her, see how she is, like, in what kind of state of mind she is. Yeah. And can else? We... Yeah. No, I was gonna say, can we do that? Or... Sure. I mean, I assume that was the primary reason you wanted to talk to her. Like, how are you doing? Not give us all the information. <laughs> yeah. Where is the bomb? Where is the bomb? Uh, ah, do you want to go with Trigger? Do you invite anybody else, or are you just, you know, people who know Pippa actually going? I'd say probably just the people who know Pippa would right. go see her. Alright. Uh, do you take the urn with you? Um, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> is, um, where's Ralph? I'm just curious if Ralph is with us. Um, Ralph, that's a good question. I need to use Ralph die. Uh, no, Ralph is nowhere to be seen. Okay. From what you know of Ralph, he must be somewhere in the August Mansion trying to get to the corpse. Uh, uh, that works. Oh, that'll be a problem for another day. <laughs> what happens when a nice a magically immune chest eats a creature that creates a magical immunity field? Hmm. Yeah, they just grow an extra eye stalk or something. Uh, Suddenly, all magic eradicated in all Dana. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, in that case, uh, you, Trager, and an urn of Arsus Ashes uh, enters the room, uh, escorted by Salan, who tells you, <laughs> "All right, here's a couple of rules. Don't make fast movements. Talk." slower and quieter and when I tell you to get away from her you get away from her slowly quietly and don't turn your back understood yes yeah all right he leads you into one of the bedrooms and starts by opening all of the windows and there is a bed in the middle that is, you know, like... With closed curtains. Yeah, closed curtains. Open that. And then he... You see, he actually is like carrying a um, kind of like baton in his hand. Like this big wooden baton that is uh, covered in thick cloth. And he carefully approaches the bed and moves the curtain. And you see Pip just lying on the bed, kind of curled up, with eyes open, just staring, not at you, just into the emptiness. And Salan kind of reaches out with his hand and um, shakes her a little bit. And you see she kind of like moves and sits up. And yawns, open her mouth widely, and you can see a forked tongue going yeah, inside her mouth, and you can see as she stretches her. It looks like somebody made a full body tattoo of 
scales right under her skin. And as she stretches, you can almost see the skin move over the scales. And... And she looks at you with... Glossy, kind of black, blank looking eyes with big round black pupils where an iris and the pupil will be only human and the rest of the eye just is yellowish iris and just looks at you unblinkingly Hi She smiles Hi Pip uh, how, how are you feeling? I'm hungry. It's cold. Oh. Hi. Um, hey. Um, you're hungry? Uh, yes. Um, I have, I, I, um, I might have some rations left. Do you want some? You see. So I'm going. Goes. No. Fine with food. I'm just hungry. Oh. Are you standing next to the bed or staying like away? Oh, she's staying by salon. Salon's like five feet away from the bed. I see Pip kind of like, um, move to the side of the bed and stand up, stretch some more, and then she kind of walks towards you and hugs your leg, like, stretches herself, like, over you, like, in a way that maximum percentage of her surface is kind of like hugging you and I goes Warm. I look at Salon is it okay? like um just like looking for approval to this is just like watching her very carefully and he's watching she's looking at her hand and you notice that on her left hand the pinky is missing Pip, up sweetheart, what happened to your pink? Else. Oh. I don't know. And it goes back to enjoying your body warmth. I slowly and carefully give her a very slowly since he said to be slow give her what okay. give her a hug oh okay right. but like i said very slowly since salon told her sure. to be slow sure she kind of nozzles at you and you kind of like as you give her a hug, kind of feel like for a moment something like brush at your ear. And she feels like pretty, pretty dry to the touch and slightly cool. Trego is very quietly going to ask uh, Salan what exactly is happening to her, if he can say if she's trans if she's transforming into something else completely. If that is like a process that hasn't stopped yet. Salan goes. I frankly have no idea, but. The more she looks like a snake, the more trouble I have had dealing with her. So I had to try and slow it down. 
how did he slow it down? He's mostly sleeping. Not eating quite much. And I'm not talking food eating. And the next phase is regeneration. I have not seen what happens after that. I'm trying to make sure she doesn't get past it. Is there anything that we can do to help? I don't know. It's not a curse. It's not uh, It's not something any of my magic worked against. Is it uh, the 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 uh, out of character? They didn't she have like a dagger that is yep. for killing gods? Yep. Uh, it was also uh, occasionally the ring. Does uh, the, we the weapon have anything to do with it? Um, it says, as far as I can tell, yes, whatever entity she is in contact with is, is giving her both the powers and all the chant. The transformation. I found her in a very bad state after I returned from my pilgrimage. She was almost here already. She shared everything she knew with me, but after that I had to fight her for my life. And at about this point, he goes, Laura, just let go of her, slowly. And you see him kinda reaching out the baton and kinda like shaking it to the side of Peep, who just turns towards it and stares at it unblinkingly. Okay. And she slowly releases the hug. Alright. And then Salan kind of makes a fast movement with a baton and you see Pip just dart at it and open her jaw far more than you assume a human should be able, well, a gnome should be able to, and bite into the baton. And as she bites, you can see like liquid um, pour out of the baton and smell of herbs fills the room as you watch as she kind of like quiets down, slows down, and Salan picks her up and puts her back onto the bed, says, I've been drenching this thing in sedatives. Is it possible that the dagger is cursed? Could we maybe we know it's cursed. decurse the dagger? As I've said, she's our final weapon against one eyed god, if me and Dragon you fail. We need her to maintain this power as long as it exists. Once he's gone, yes, I intend to get to the bottom of this. But now, will she survive it? I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather we don't find out. I'd rather I don't know what's gonna happen if we need to use her. Maybe it's going to be something worse than we ever imagined. Maybe one night God will look like a game compared to that. I don't know. This just feels wrong. Talking about her like a, you know. Well, do you have better options? I don't know, because none of us know enough about this. Destroying Oko, seeing him, didn't really give us much information either. I mean, you're right. I just don't know what I could do about it right now. She just looks defeated. I'm gonna glance at the peep, and uh, you can see that her pinky that was missing, about like a phalange of it, has grown back. 
and he goes. I think you should not look. And he takes out a knife. Wait, what are you doing? I've told you, I need to maintain her transformation at a manageable phase. And her heart. Stops Wait. her powers from progressing. So you have to hurt her to keep her this way? Yes. This, this just seems wrong. Yes. Your point? There's gotta be another way. We just have to think of it. You wanna see what happens after she learns to grow her limbs back? I wish we had more information on all of them. I barely stopped her before she started regenerating. And just for reference, ropes don't hold her. I don't think I can do this anymore. And she turns to walk away. Alright. Nah. Sure, I was also gonna leave. Yeah. Like 30 seconds later, Salan walks out of the room, closes the door behind him. Well, let's see if I manage to get Leos back tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. Okay, uh, with this, we can jump <clears throat> back to the morning. Yes? Yeah, during that time, could I have started looking at that book? To... Uh, Alright, so about that. So while everybody else is getting their long rest, getting their spells back, preparing new spells, use Ardus, learn the bed, doesn't turn. The bed is kind of too soft for you. He on the floor, it's kind of too hard and too hot. He opens the window and gets cold and struggle for an hour and no attempt to get to sleep. No matter what surface you try to sleep on and which condition, try to run if you got like a liter of chamomile tea from the servants, not a wink of sleep. So you're welcome to take a short rest, if you want to. Yeah, that's why I took the... Uh, grab those sacks full of dirt. Bring with me, just in case. You do? Yeah, that's why I went... Oh, right. Took those, um, yeah. Uh, where are they? I uh, had to put... Couldn't really care, I had to put them in the bag. Uh, do you wanna... Who has the bag right now? Uh, unless someone else took it, I was... Yeah, unless Trago took it after Darla's died, I was holding... I at least picked it up then, I don't know. I don't think we discussed who took it after that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sure, you have it. Just let's try and remember this. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. So, what do you do? Uh, well, see about uh, just kind of covering myself on the bed. See if that helps. See if that works for it. <laughs> um, you do have to basically. How how much have you collected dirt? Uh, yeah, it depends on how much I can get out of the. Uh, and two or three burlap sacks ahead. You know how big those were. Oh boy. Somewhere suck. Thirty pounds. One sack. Well, 
was really I don't remember like were you going close or um, close on capacity for your bag of holding? Can't say. Oh, because of the new stuff? Yeah. Uh what about before uh, the new stuff? I mean Actually, I mean, the new stuff is in the demo plane. Anyway. No, 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 it isn't. Like, there's, like, staffs and shit that we collect, collected down there in the bubble stuff. Hmm. Yeah, well, um, those. Sure. It was close to 400 out of 500 before, but I do not have the dirt in here, so... so basically, he could get, like, I don't know, 60 pounds of dirt or something. Yeah, probably. Right. I don't. Well, yeah. that much is. Well, it's enough to make like a, a very shallow bedding for you, and you know, like cover yourself a little bit. Uh, it doesn't feel as comfortable as a full-fledged grave did. But once you spread the dirt onto the bed and lie down upon it, uh, peace comes to you, and you find yourself capable of falling asleep. Though getting that out of the bed next morning is gonna be a pain. Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> Alright. Um, okay, so in that case, all of you got a long rest. And uh, you went and made a had a resurrection ritual which failed and what do you do after it i mean i think we're Fuck. i'm not muted okay never mind um, <laughs> i am not um since i assume we're still all sort of gathered around well what is option number two Either a even higher resurrection spell at a chance of failing, or I say we pass the reincarnate. He's your friend, not mine. I'm familiar with the one of the spells, so I mean, there is an inherent risk, right? I wouldn't want to be reborn as a tiefling myself. Wow, that's speciousist. Yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out of character. Completely honest, I completely forgot in this moment that Zardas was a tiefling. It was like the worst thing you could say. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, like I'm in the room, guys. <laughs> Hello, I'm still here. I don't know. It's really up to the spirit. We tried it with one of our friends before. Either he didn't just didn't want to come back, or he didn't like the body that was chosen for. Him. Oh, the spirit can see the body. I didn't know that I'd, detail about it. I'd like to believe that. It's really just speculation, honestly. I mean, that would be that would be nice. In that case, um, your friend gets to choose before, you know. I mean, after that, in theory, it is still possible to go back for the higher level version of what we just tried, right? If it doesn't pan out. Uh, I mean, we can. Like I said, the only difference is with reincarnate versus an actual resurrection authorization, I guess it would be by the god. The spirit themselves has a say whether they come back or not. At least that's my understanding. If Leos wants to come back desperately enough... I think... Yeah, I mean, in a sense, yes, but didn't the spirit just before also say that the soul is willing 
so he must have been willing in the first place to return. Just gonna be the question of if he's willing to return as... I don't know. So a dirty tiefling? Well, wait until you create a body of a tiefling. I mean, I think all of it is just personal preference, to be quite honest. I'm sure a lot of people would say the same thing about being born as a human. They might get something a little tougher. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You might find it boring to be born as a human. I don't know how it feels. Uh, understandable. I personally quite like the benefits I was born with, so... Birth with benefits. <laughs> so what do we require for um, this spell of yours? Uh, it's definitely not going to be cheap. We need at least 1,000 gold worth of oils and... I hope I'm pronouncing this one. Ungen. Or Ungens. Ungent. That, that is pretty expensive, yes. But I'm sure your king will be able to fit the bill. Or our king, rather. I was just like, oh, I was room! Am I just a wallet for you? <laughs> Wait, is he here? Uh, no. No, good. Good, I was scared. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Uh, not a wall, just, you know, show your daddy. I mean, is there a, such a place in Kreuzung that you could go to to buy these things? I'm sure it wouldn't be a problem, but I don't think King Albert would... Uh, he may cover the, cover the bill, I guess you could say. I mean, what the... do your party's funds look like? Do you have plenty of your own? I want to say yeah. we do. Something we haven't looked at before. Yes, you do. You have like 11k in the bag. It's okay. Yeah, but she knows how Trigo is. It's only with clothes. <laughs> well, she looks over to Trigo. It's up to you. I mean, we can ask Albert, but I think because he did that for Arliss, maybe we should do this one on. Since Tell is not here, Trago will say, I shall smite you if you touch the gold! No, he will of course agree. <laughs> and he says, <laughs> and he says, and goes, I was waiting. No! Oh, my precious! My precious! Trago will definitely be reborn as a tiefling. <laughs> this is the first chance for him and Malora to have their fight. Like, she puts her hands on her hip. Excuse me? He will be reborn as a dragon and he will cause that gold. There you go. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it did seem like the king was interested in making this happen. Gave us the. Oh. What, yeah. Let's go out and. I mean, you've purchased this before? From what I gathered? Well, we didn't. The king had his people gather it for us, but it can't be that hard for us to find them. I would. Yes, let's just ask the king where he got this material, or who got it for him, and we can proceed. I mean, it is totally my fault for not creating enough NPCs, but I like how, like, we need something in Crimson. Let's ask the king. Yeah, that's the number one person to talk to. He yeah. doesn't have any other things. It's, it's not like there was like yeah. a very, very likable and friendly majordomo that I have created like three years ago that none of you yeah, remember you just... the present for No, no, I remember the piece of shit. <laughs> he was really oh, nice! No, he was a piece of shit. I wonder what happened to him. Uh... I hope he died. Wow. You know, karma's a bitch. Arla's already got the karma, it's okay. Uh, I guess karma was not bitch enough. Uh, okay. Oh boy. 
All right. Uh, well, let's say you find somebody who tells you where to go and you go there. Sounds good. Which basically is going to be like a more traditional type of an apothecary where you can find oils and stuff. You could also go, I guess, to like buy cooking oil. But buying enough cooking oil to get a thousand golds worth is oh. gonna be like a bus of oil. Well, Rare good. imported oil or like, I don't know, flower oh. oil or something. Rose oil. Uh, which could be actually an interesting way to reincarnate somebody, you know, like, inside a bus of oil. Uh, so yeah, yeah, actually, you have two options. You can go to an apothecary and buy like very expensive... I don't I, I don't want... I, uh, <laughs> Aromatic oils and various like engines used to heal wounds or deal with various types of skin conditions, uh, which is gonna cost you some gold and be a few pots. Or you could go and buy a couple gallons of I don't know rare oil like olive oil or rose oil or um, some other type of oil. Because I don't know enough oils in English. <laughs> so, Melora, it's your choice. Do you want to reincarnate somebody inside of a bathtub? Or do you want to just smear somebody with oil? Honestly, the player wants to do it with the cooking oil. <laughs> but I know Melora, she would do the traditional uh, apothecary oils. Okay. So, in that case, uh, remove a thousand gold from your... Uh, really? account. The apothecary is very, very glad to do service with you. Uh, I can imagine. <laughs> uh, they're very friendly, they wrap it up for you, and you bring it all back to the castle. So, um, let's say it's nine by now. And you are welcome to do stuff. Welcome to reincarnate stuff. Uh, inside joke, reincarnating somebody inside a swimming pool filled with oil increases the chance of being reincarnated as Marcus to 100%. I mean, if it's warm, maybe come back as the tempura shrimp. <laughs> Fried chicken leg, maybe. <laughs> Lucas, wanna play a homebrewed uh, fried chicken drumstick race? Sure. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, in any case, you're back at the castle with the oil. Uh... What do you do? Find a nice place. And reincarnate. Right. I mean, as Richard takes an hour of casting time, so Jesse, it's up to you to describe what you do uh, to the body or videos. <laughs> Actually, wait, you don't. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you touch a dead humanoid or a piece, but another body is created. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. So, so you're we do well, need Leos's corpse. You do need his corpse. Well, I mean, by this point, you have already cast him a plane and removed corpse because you needed him already. Yeah, yeah. And you've also. Um, so, so um, as you were doing the plane, uh, you pass on. As far as I understand, all of the valuables to be like calculating yeah. and so on, but all of the magic items you keep. Uh, I mean, you still need to identify them, but we can donate those later. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Back to the ritual, Jesse. What do you want to do? All right. She is going to. Oh, this. Oh God. The way my mind's going with this, it makes it sound so. Because it is. It, it really is. It is. Um, the only thing I can think of is she would... Or, there there probably would be candles, so she'll light some of the candles. Um, she'll encircle his body with around, around the body with some of the oil. And she's going to take some oil, place her hand over his heart, kind of put the oil over, over top of the heart. Or his chest where his heart is. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> massage his man boob. No. <laughs> um, but she's gonna prep his body for the ritual, and um, she'll take a deep breath, get down on her knees, and begin praying for the ritual to begin. All right. So, um, as you were doing the preparation, uh, and uh, apparently during your shopping, uh, the simulacrum of Lady Kazar does find you, and I assume you don't keep a secret that you have tried to resurrect the tail from her? Yeah, we probably would have told her. Yeah. Um, she kind of like nods. To it and tells you, I have informed me of the events in the mansion. Which magic are you attempting? Um, it is re it's reincarnation, transmutation, but I believe. Ah. I've read about one it. of the, yeah, one of the fifth circle spell. I believe you will be creating a new body, correct? Yes. Very well. Then I will be taking this after you're done with it. She points to the current body. Um, I'm not so sure that is what is going to happen. To be quite frank. How about we let the soul that will repurpose a new body, if it does, decide. I'm sorry, you misunderstood me. I did not word it as a question. Yes, and I think you His death me. was unacceptable, and there are things that I would like to do about it. That the real you would like to do about it. That is correct. Is there something but... else that she could do? Yes. Like a guaranteed res resurrection? No. You may proceed with your ritual. Oh. I'm smearly ensuring that this doesn't happen again. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Please proceed. I did not the intend to disturb you so much. No, no, it's alright. It will be up for him to decide. I have noted your opinion, and it is duly ignored. And we'll see about that, yes. Do go on. Do go on. Alright, and then she begins... Re begins the... Okay, so a good hour of rather tense and uncomfortable stairs pass as Milora does her magic with uh, Leos, who by the end of the ritual smells wonderfully and looks even more wonderfully. Uh, he wasn't dead. Uh, all right. So at this point, you see as your magic takes and activates, and the circles that you have drawn with oil kind of like light up with inner glow, and you see as next to the body of Leos, liquid starts gathering and forming into this blob. That is growing and growing and growing in size, becoming opaque as it does. It stretches out into a vaguely oblong form, shortish, shorter than would be appropriate for a uh, man of Alyssa's stature, but, but nonetheless, as it 
gains shape and separates into limbs, gaining legs and arms and more features of the body um, growing uh, pronounced and uh, more detailed. The uh, fingers form at the ends of the arms, the belly button, the ears, the nose, the eyes. Uh, Still all kind of know as if somebody has stretched a cloth over the body, but at least giving you a shape. The body stops at that length of about 170 centimeters, which is 5 feet tall, I want to say, I'm not sure. You guys translate on your own, I did not calculate his height in, in feet. But it stops at about that length. Uh, and then you see as the body kind of starts swelling somewhat, becoming uh, plumper and more rounded. Uh, kind of like the neck disappears, the head assumes a somewhat pear shaped shape, uh, arms looking like they're kind of inflated. And then, as the definition <laughs> increases further, and you can see like the actual like hair start forming on the head like this, a mop of very uh, dense uh, black brown hair, and then the eyebrows a little, uh, well, relatively little brown eyes, a big potato nose, uh, the chin. And the second chin, and the third chin, and all of the folds, and all of the new plumpness of this body, including the very, very cute, stocky piece of manhood that he will never see without a use of mirror ever again. The body lies, formed and shaped, in front of you. Definitely portly, and as the ritual ends, the body is unmistakably human. Rip. You see the eyes of the body open, and kind of struggles to get up, and Yeah. My new exercise. Yes. Hello. What the fuck happened? Hey there. Why does my sound voice sound about four semitones higher and rounder? Well, that answers the question uh, to if you were able to say yes or no to the body, I guess. Um, you died in the fight with Oko. We tried I down. to raise uh, you yeah. from the dead. <laughs> you look down, yeah, you see it's... mound of flesh. That is definitely more than I ended up with. Mm hmm. Yes, you have um, mm. gained. I mean, it, it's it's cool. We can go for a run if you want. You just work that off. So. Just for proper reference, this is how it looks after you your clothes. You're a cruel motherfucker. I did not <laughs> find this picture. <laughs> Nope. It was him. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh god. <sighs> um Alright. Uh This was the second option, since the gods did not allow your soul to pass. Can I have a towel or two? Yeah, yeah. So I'm together. Oh. I'm quite heavy. How, how you feeling there? Oh, peachy. 
Um, are we in the castle? Yes. So, assuming that since everyone else is still alive, you managed to defeat Oko? Yes, he killed Melora too, but um, Gregor was able to get her in time. Turned into a crazy thing with Beholder. That was uncool. Have I ever heard anything about a Beholder? Not a thing. Uh, make another kind of check. Yeah. I just take oh, kind of the first roll of like... the campaign and of the character. Yeah. Uh. I mean, second was it? Cat. Arcana. Arcana, yes. 21. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you've heard about them. Uh, you've read about them in one of the books. Uh, you don't know much about them, even though you read about them. You just know that they are uh, extremely dangerous and extremely intelligent aberrations from unknown planes. Nobody ever knew where they came from. And they are known as a bane of mages because they make magic go away and generally there's no description of them no unified description of them because uh very few people have returned from an encounter even fewer have brought a corpse with them and each description that you've read does describe the average you know like floating head eyeball with stalks shape but the details are always different the colors, the shapes, the types of eye stalks, the number of eye stalks, it's always different. Hmm. I will quickly like um, cast Minor Illusion and just create a nice shape of uh, what Oko looked like in miniature form. Oh, his shape reminds me of my new one. <laughs> the there might be some kind of overlap there. Anybody got a mirror? You know, I don't think we need to rush that. No, 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 come on. It's fine. Uh, well, at least I have very soft skin. Softer than before, that's nice. Well, hey, there you go. <laughs> Always look at the bright side. Yeah. yeah. Matter. How is it? <laughs> it was so unbearable. Rushing just disappears from the room. <laughs> No, no more like I can cast invisible will of like touching Leos. Would you like to? Uh... No. Um, I will just. I mean, you don't necessarily need a mirror if you'd like to see yourself in miniature form. Mm, no, I would like to see myself in the mirror. Oh, I'm sure there's one nearby. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. No, I don't have the mirror. I have the bowl. Oh, well, While the all of you are kind of like stumbling around, uh, Kazar of uh, Simulacrum of Hers walks up to you and goes, Well, hello. This walked away. And she reaches into her robe and takes out a small and like box and opens it up, and you see there's a mirror inside of it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I you look younger. In a sense. Well. I mean, more portly people always seem younger because of the rounder shapes. Oh man. Oh, I already but... have so many great character ideas. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Also, and I sort of look over to the corpse, plunged in oils, and like, what would you like to do with your old self? I'll go, go over and just flick its forehead. Why did you die? You did. Um, yeah. Sister Malcolm goes, um, I was in communication with myself. She wants me to take that. Oh, please. Please do. And uh, since no one else seems just to be fast safety? enough, she removes her outer robe and... Well, it's not gonna be enough. 
<laughs> she at least like uses you know the, um, the sleeves to like tie it around your waist and oh yeah right as she tries that. to mm -hmm. she kind of like has to kind of like uh, press <laughs> into you and she like I do not hate this I'm quite fluffy it is good for cuddling yes all right well guess that's me now All right, what's up? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, speaking... Uh, I assume that I am at one hit point and have the spell slots left that from the last encounter? Or uh, how does reincarnate work? Like, uh, being dead? It doesn't say that, but yeah, let's go with that. I mean, you definitely didn't have a long rest. Yeah, uh, and I don't true. think it's gonna heal you to full. So yeah, let's put you at one hit point, as okay. our spells do. Um, well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna definitely try and see if my magic still works. So I'm gonna cast a healing word on myself. Uh, uh, does healing word has any components? No, just a verbal uh, component. Then, then yeah, it works. It would benefit you to strip your. Original body from any items you had upon it. Take them for yourselves. For yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take everything. Uh, except for like the normal clothing, like yeah. uh, underwear and yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Luckily, armor readjusts size if it's mid. Uh, yeah, fortunately, <laughs> is it? It does. It is, I think. You'll need to spend some time with it. Uh, where's what my flute? Does. Fuck, where's my flute? Uh, is it there with the body? Yeah, we brought it. Okay, oh fuck, okay. I'm definitely gonna, gonna the first, fuck all the other things. I'm gonna see if I can still play the flute. Um, make me a performance check. Mm -hmm. Uh, we talked about this, it would have been an advantage, but right now make me a straight roll. Yeah, sure. 30. Alright. <laughs> okay, that's that's very well. That's very nice. Uh, so you like you do a, f a couple false starts because like your fingers are just of different lengths and of different widths. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. they cover the holes differently. And um, your lung capacity is a lot less than it used to be. So you have to readjust. But you are so good with this particular instrument that you do a wonderful trill nonetheless and you understand that while you may never be able to accompany your playing by uh, the singing you've done before you now have a new tonal voice which does open you a few songs you thought about performing in your youth but never had the voice for actually this is this is quite all right. I like it. <laughs> ah, maybe once or twice walking. Yeah, maybe maybe shape off just a bit. But all of the videos yeah. I've read uh, say that it's mostly down to the nutrition and the exercise doesn't really factor in all that hard. You'll just have to watch yeah. what you're eating for the most part. Yeah, exercise. Yeah, I'm gonna look. That's uh. Ah, oh, forgot my train of thought. Uh. I lost my train of thought. Is it? Yeah. You lost your cart of thought. <laughs> okay. I lost just... my cheese wheel of thought. <laughs> uh... Yeah. So what happened? You killed. Oko, was it pleasant, like, satisfying as fuck? Um, well, the barrage of fireballs afterwards were, it was. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, was... Did you, like, go through the building, see if there is anything hidden under the table that attacked us, or... Uh, I'm just imagining a naked 
plump shape of new Leos in like a robe tied around his waist just doing all of this? I mean, it's all about the confidence, man. Yeah, so, uh, plunder. Did you plunder that fucking tower? Did you did you earthquake it? Yeah, we do uh, have some... We have some items to examine. Couldn't uh. earthquake it because I didn't prepare the spot. Uh. It's alright. Yeah. Well, okay. we did find quite a bit of riches. The one he stole in an obvious location and the ones that were very well protected and oh yeah. that sounds was, juicy yeah it in a sense was but also time consuming also we did bring the elven statue he had oh right you oh, did we did oh where and is it can you, can you can you bring me there Yes, I think uh, with the, we've brought the carpet to uh, Trigos and Melora's room. No. <laughs> oh yeah, please let's. Uh... And we've already looked at it. I think we can get her back and bring her limbs back without hurting her too much. Oh yeah, limbs. Yes. Well, that's good news. Uh, did you actually manage to save any of the other statues there? All of the other statues that we watched had a crack. And judging by the crack and the order of operations, it will... It would have been basically impossible to save those, though one might try. Also, they're still where they where we left them. We could still get them. Yeah, I can always go back and check the loose. I mean, probably not for too long, but um, yes. Also, there is the matter of importance that the real Lady Kazar is waiting at the crossing between all of the lines of the green lights, and we don't know when that is going to come through, or if it is going to happen at all. So, no. Sorry, I'm a bit tired from being dead. How um, about we take a quick break for you to recuperate? Ah, and, uh, it's okay. I'm not gonna die on the same day. How crazy would that be? It's not the same day anymore. Okay, I'm not going to die two days in a row in two different bodies. How crazy would that be? Be a little out there. But... Yeah, we did bring me out the statue. So, um, you want to see the statue now? Um, I mean, can we bring her back from that state? Yes, we can do it now. I do have a scroll of greater restoration still on me, if that I... helps at all. Not me. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's okay. I'll take care of it. If we're gonna take a break for you to read a little after anyway, mm -hmm. that would be wise. Because, to be quite frank, while you do look, uh... Mm, like that? <laughs> ah, fuck! She will not recognize me, right? Oh, yes. please. Mm, oh, shit. Mm. There's a prank give in her a fake name or something? Or... No, 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 no. There's a prank in there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, by, by now you also notice that you're like um, 15 centimeters shorter. Oh yeah. Actually more even. Uh, uh, 20, uh, what, what, 20 17. Seventeen. I was 17. 17, yeah. I was 184 before. Yeah. <sighs> ah, no, no. It's okay. Ah. Mmm. It would probably mm. be wise to let her recover first. I hear... Mm. This guy self or myself look like Leos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very goodness. kind. That is very it kind. works too. Uh, it will be easier for a transition. Yeah. 
So. It's, it, it would be better if she sees a face. Oh, no, it's, it will be fine. Yeah. Yeah, 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 please. Let's, okay. uh, let's go there. Yeah. The order of operations we have planned is in quick succession for Trago to be ready for a heal. And Laura will already start casting Regenerate. I will bring her back from the stone form. And uh, then in quick succession, right after I do it, Trego will cast or will heal her. And quickly thereafter, regenerate should kick in. And uh, uh, regenerate can start being cast only after she turns back to flesh. Because in order to That's use regeneration, yeah. you need to touch a creature. Instead, then she's not I will creature. cast the healing word on her just to yeah. you add. Too. Yes, so that and Trego's heal together. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, no. I have something better. I have mass cure wounds. I'm gonna cast that shit out of that. That's okay. That's better. <laughs> I'm I not sure who's confused better. about you having mass cure wounds. Rasim or Arliss? <laughs> no, not, not even not confused about that part. Confused about using that part. Uh, but that's fine. But yes, that will work. Look. Sure. Yeah, I can heal myself up a bit as well. It's bonus, bonus, bonus. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna attack you today. <laughs> if there's an attack today, I'm gonna teleport myself out of there. Do you have the spell slots for that? Oh, right, you didn't use much of them. <laughs> you didn't use any of them! Uh, I, I yeah. still have a shitload of spell slots left, yeah. Well, I killed you too soon. <laughs> I transformed too soon. Okay, let's uh, get this party rolling. I'm gonna uh, pre-cast Masque Wounds whenever they are ready and hold it when until... I see, like, uh, mm -hmm. the spells mm -hmm. being finished. Yeah. All right. And I'll so, also wait for Trego to be, like, all prepared before I cast Great Resto. Mm -hmm. I mean, you basically need to, like, all get within touching distance of yeah. the statue, basically. Mm -hmm. and, and I will sit in the corner and watch. Yeah. And I guess... We'll start be identifying some stuff. Yeah. And I guess it is also suggestible for the statue to be placed on a horizontal surface. Yeah, the bed sounds good. Uh, Trigger actually goes... Um, uh, let's or not do this on the bed. It might crash from the weight of the statue, uh, maybe? Uh, or? If, well, if you think the statue yeah, will... We First, it is a bed very heavily. A bed is okay. like the big beds, this is castle beds. It's not very comfortable for three people to stand around the bed. And I mean, uh, none of you care about it, but if you do it like on the floor, it's gonna be easier to clean up. We have pressed digitation. You don't care sure. about that part. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Let's let's put her on the ground. It's it's probably gonna be a lot easier. Sure. That way she can't fall. That way we can all approach her from all the sides. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, um, well. And also, as you were working out or whatever you were figuring out, uh, the um. um Reincarnation of Alios, uh, there were servants basically on on the ready, uh, paying attention to you, and you notice that uh, one of them kind of hurries off somewhere. Uh, also, um, since you did give her permission, uh, the simulacrum is going to uh, pick up uh, the corpse of Leos and. Mm -hmm. Well, after that, you go to deal with Niyati, so you have no idea what she does with it. But... She picks it up. 
Uh, okay. Um, all right. So, uh, back in this room, you carefully place the statue onto the ground, and the three of you, uh, well, the three of you and Leo slightly in the distance because you don't need to be in touching uh, distance. Yeah. Please. Uh, I, I want. I want to be around, so my face is the first yeah. one that she sees. All right. We place yourselves around the statue, and uh, whenever you're ready. Sure. Where is my spell? Oh, there it is. By the way, Lucas, um, wanna find the picture that you have sent me? Uh, A long, long time ago. Oh yeah, I have to search for it. Long time ago. God damn it. Oh, now it's gonna be stuck in my head. <laughs> oh, yeah, all the years. I was like, uh, what do you think? Uh, all right. So yeah, you sprinkle the diamond dust over the statue, and you see as um, cracks form upon the surface as the golden light of ancestor uh, sheds the shell of of the body of Niyati. How it looks like is the, the same as the first time when the ancestor got uh, Melora oh. out of it, where I blow the dust into the air, it forms into a hammer that the ancestor slams down on the stone that then starts. Uh, Lewis, do you have a heart attack while that happens? Uh, As I watch a giant golden mallet swing at the statue. Nah, it's okay, I'm gonna try some more killing. <laughs> You know, like, your threats don't sound as threatening in your new body. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm That's gonna kill you! Blue. What are you gonna do, pretty boy? Sit on me? What? Don't tempt me! <laughs> well, t uh, my character was never one for you know, uh, threatening people if, that much. If you play the monk and we rolled it a boxy for you, you could have been a Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's uh, about that's about the body shape you have of uh, yeah. of ball. All right, here's Neati's picture. So, as the mallet smacks upon the stone, it breaks open, and as it breaks, Niati releases. A scream that she seems to have been holding in for eternity. A continuation of a scream. The rest of your magic goes off or starts going off and there is a gush of blood before Tragus magic takes hold and um, closes the wounds. The air immediately fills with smell of blood and iron and the floor kind of becomes slick as it spreads and uh, your hands casting the spell <laughs> slick in the blood and as the scream the scream continues and ends only when seemingly the air in her land is expelled and you see her eyes darting across the room across your I faces with fear and panic and pain and as you call her out, make me a persuasion check. Because um, straight through, I'm just gonna make a high DC because of the circumstances. Alright. And her eyes, you're muted. I'm gonna use my last inspiration to inspire right. myself too. Um, and her eyes kinda end on your face. But there's still those seconds of nothing but pain and fear as as tense as she was, Melody can feel her body kind of like tense and try to trash in your hands, except 
she can't do much, but arc her spine. And only after that she not so much relaxes as let goes as the last of her scream turns into a hoarse whisper. And she kind of focuses on your eyes and there's still pain. It's it's me now. There's still fear. To... You're safe, you're safe. Listen to my voice. You're safe and you'll be back to your old self in a minute or two. You hear her trying to say something and <laughs> the words don't come through. Um, can I check her mouth? Like, can I see her mouth if there is still a tongue in there? Um, sure. Yeah. Um, I like my medicine check. Mm hmm. Oh. All right. Oh, no. The tongue is there, but um, her throat is kind of like swollen. That's all you can say. Okay. Um, I have a couple of friends here who will heal you. This will take only a minute or two. And you see as, uh, like, she tenses, and then there's like a moment of, like, once again approaching panic in her eyes, and she tries to look to the side as Melora holds her head. No, look into my eyes. I'll make a precision check. 35. All right, all right. She kind of like nods, does a little nod, and looks at you and looks up at Melora's face above her and looks at you and you can I'll make me an inside check. Mm. Alright, <laughs> yeah. You uh, only because you know her so well you see that she is basically like, trying to maintain control. And uh, I kind of see, like, by the moment of her eyes, that she's like going into a, a wood elf uh, kata of basically like meditation in a way. And just kind of like closes her eyes and just, just waits. I say, good, 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 keep it. All right. We will be done soon. So, um, you, Melora, finish casting the spell by about this point, and uh, you see as as you finish the spell, the wounds that Trigger has closed up start. Swelling with new growth as slowly her limbs begin the process of reformation. It's gonna take a while longer. But at least for you and for Rega and for Rasim, your casting is finished and your job here is done. How many limbs are uh, is she now missing? Uh, I, she's still missing all four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So re re regenerate was is, uh, uh, that Belora cast was there to fix like all the. No, it's gonna essential. take a while to come into effect, basically. Yeah. Okay. Close up next hour. Next hour. The healing continues for an hour, the limbs grow back after it. Which is 
to be fair, like you've seen a lot of user generation before, but when it happens with all four limbs simultaneously and as they grow out at a frankly disturbingly quick pace, you know, like a full grown limb over two minutes is pretty damn fast, and as like the bones form and the muscles knit and the nerves reattach, the limbs kind of like do the internal process of checking that everything works and like trash and tense and move. Uh, yeah, the picture is not for the light of heart, but it is a picture of healing. <laughs> it is good enough. Uh, so yeah, uh, anything you want to do while that happens? Um, no, we'll just continue to uh, uh, to pay close attention that she remains calm and w uh, not move an inch. Just right. wait for it to be done. Yeah. Uh, make me actually an athletics check. Oh. 20. Oh, wow. You find strength within your pudgy fingers that you <laughs> never imagined yourself having. And you kind of help support Niyat in place over these two minutes to make sure she doesn't hurt herself by trashing against the floor or, I don't know, pulls anything or dislodges anything and continue calming her down. And two minutes later, you've got her uh, in your arms. She's uh, completely and utterly exhausted. Mm. Uh, Melora, you know that uh, while you have restored her limbs and you restored uh, the blood with the limbs, she still have lost enough blood during her restoration and most likely during pre-petrification process that she she's simply extremely tired. She's lost a lot of blood. And she needs time, uh, bed, uh, sleep, a lot of food, a lot of liquid. And you can procure all of that for her, you know enough to help her heal, but it will take time. And you just see she basically has no strength really to uh, move her limbs. Like she, I mean, she can move them, but she can't like lift them. But the spell oh. seems to have worked. It's all in place. It's all working. Uh, there are no scars left. It's perfectly attached. The correct number of fingers. The correct orientation. <laughs> so, well done. She will need some rest, won't she? I say a bit. She will need a lot of rest, won't she? Dragon goes. Yeah, <laughs> she's kind of pale. All right. Um, can we please bring her? Oh, I will tell Niyati uh, uh, that she is in the castle at Kotsum. Um, these are my friends. Oh, oh is, she, is she conscious? Uh, she point? is We're... conscious. You see that she's kind of uh -huh. like starting to. You know, like drift out of it, but you also notice that uh, she's kind of like trying to say something, but it's so quiet you can't quite hear it if you are, you know, sitting. I want to go closer. And... Make a perception check. Uh, okay. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have you make all of the checks. All right. Nineteen. You basically hear her like start whispering. And starting trying to breaking up and losing some words, but starting warning you up, warning you about Oko and about uh -oh. his oh, plans, oh, yeah. and uh, the princess is in danger, the cousin is in danger, uh, his majesty is in danger. Like she starts blurting all I that will, information. I will immediately uh, tell her Oko is dead. Oko was killed yesterday. By us. Uh, 
We will compare our notes when you have rested. For now, you have no reason to be concerned. Make one with precision check. Yeah. With advantage? With advantage? Yes. yes. Okay. Plus 17! Cheers! Yeah. All right. Uh, you was register. You see, like, for a moment, she kind of, like, lets go of trying to fulfill her duty. And moments later, she is unconscious in her sleep. Yeah. Um, gonna cast Enhance Ability on myself to give <laughs> me advantage on strength, and I will carry her to her room. Alright, uh, well... Uh. Uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea to carry her to her room because it's in a completely different part of the castle. But if you want to put her into your guest room, sure, that's like next room all. Ah, no, fuck it. I will carry her over to, to her room. I want to. In that I case, make me an aesthetics check. Because <laughs> uh, that's going to be a couple stairwells. All right. Mm. Yeah, you, you carry her. I, I I look at Trego and, and say like, can you follow me just in case I trip? <laughs> he goes, yeah, yeah, all right. And like a couple times as you're going up the stairs, and like your central gravity is new now. But yeah. Funny enough, it's like <laughs> lower, and it almost feels more stable. So in a way, it helps you. <laughs> Yeah, and like nice. a couple of times, just like kind of feel Trigger's arm, kind of like like on your elbow, on your like back, kind of like as you are going up the stairs, but you don't even need it really. And okay. you get to her room, and like you grab one of the servants on you on the way, and you order them to get that room open, and uh, you get her inside and lay her on the bed. The beds have been taken care of. I mean. Every room is clean this is castle every day anyway, so, you know. Um. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put her gently onto the bed, and... Uh, she too will need new clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I will also... You're also, still uh, in your robe, basically. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. And people might be wondering who that naked. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, You're Leos. You're Leos. Oh right, I'm Leos. Oh fuck. Me. <laughs> Which yeah. is like this is this is really stupid because, like, you were carrying her up uh, the stairs, and it looked like your arms were above her body as you were carrying her. <laughs> because your real arms are like 17 <laughs> centimeters lower. <laughs> so it was basically you going like this. And her body floating under your arms. <laughs> <laughs> Which definitely freaked out a couple a couple of servants. Well. Um Yeah. I will um uh kindly ask the servants to make sure that uh um there's always someone uh within ears reach. So if she calls out Or actually I will ask a servant to be in there and to watch over her just in case she needs anything. Um, and is Princess Anna at the castle? Uh, you have no idea. Oh, fuck. Well, ask... in that case, I'll... yeah, I will ask a servant. Uh, servant, uh, servant says no. And Trager, who at this point is going to basically help you explain what is wrong with Nayati. Because mm. he's Australian medicine, he knows like what needs to be done for blood loss. So Trek like gives certain like like bring that, 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 that. And like she needs like this much drink, this much food of this kind. Mm. Uh, and like says go to the kitchen, tell uh, Jahan that friends needs uh, this kind of food and he'll make it, you know. Uh, and when the servant runs off, uh, Trek uh, tells you that uh, Albert mentioned that, uh, that Anne is being... Uh, Escorted from Austria and mm. the cousin, but she must be in the road. On the okay. road. Um, in that case, I will turn around to the rest of the group or uh, go back to where everyone is. 
and say, You guys want to bring the happy news to the king? Are you slaying Oko, or did you already do that? That part has been done. <clears throat> okay. But, no, um, okay. I mean, it sure, is would like to know you know. Yes, to yeah. have you back. Actually, I'm so. going to interrupt you. <clears throat> because by the time you and Traeger come back, you find the rest of the team uh, exchanging awkward glances with uh, Albert. As I actually know. Yes, 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 yes. Who has been informed of your resurrection and of everything else, and has by this time, while you took time, you know, bring her upstairs, has found his way down to your location and was basically being, I expect, uh, informed mm. by briefed by Milora or somebody else on what has happened. Your Highness. It's good to see you again. Have you been informed about what happened to me? Yeah. Yes. I am glad to see you back. And he like, well, I'm, tries to I'm, guess where you are supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, wait a couple, like 20 minutes, and then you will see my... Um, no, you take a lot more than 20 minutes form, or yeah 40 minutes maybe i don't know yeah. how much time has passed yeah ah fuck it i'm <laughs> no it's okay no, you only need uh, to spell it or the religious yeah, guys yeah themselves. yeah it's it's not concentration so i'm just gonna wait for it to pass yeah uh but he like he like like pants the shoulder of Leo's and like his arm goes through and he passes your shoulder Much lower lower yeah lower. <laughs> and it goes through and he's like well, it is good to see you back anyway, and I see you. you have been very busy. You have not dressed yet. Oh, yeah. My Find friends... somebody, I'm sure, will have something on oh, your side. Yeah. This, I'm not sure if I will get something fitting immediately. Uh, it's okay. We have um... a retinue of tailors working for us. They'll figure it out something. Thank you. I appreciate it. Neyati is back. She's alive. She's... not quite back to her old self, but at least her body is restored. That's why I restored. didn't... She... Yeah, why... I, I honestly don't know how that happened, but she was cut to pieces. I assumed she was tortured. Um... A, her limbs were cut off, um, and yeah, well, must have been hard on you. Well, I will. Well, you know me. Compartmentalization is one of my strongest skills. Um, but I don't want to imagine what you went through, but. Was she aware of any secrets about you, this castle, any secret entrances or anything? Well, you know that along with Lord Edge, she was my second most trusted person. Okay. We um, lost her for many months. I mean, Oko is dead now, but um, we might need to consider what she... I Well, honestly, I don't expect that she talked, knowing her, but who knows what has been done to her. So we might need to con uh, go through what I'm sure she did information not. might be compromised. But there is magic. Those magic. Yeah, exactly. So, I would suppose that with the events of the last months, it's most likely they already used whatever information they gained from her. Those attacks well, on Anna and 
castle. The vents that close them can engulf. Well, there is still an assassin on the loose. Yes. And I don't know the if servant. Oko. Yeah. And if he ha had gotten information on how to get into this castle unseen and unheard, uh, we should make sure that the easy, w uh, e easy ways in are even better protected. <clears throat> Your Highness? Yes, I was up. It is your majesty. Your majesty? My daughter is a highness. Certainly. Um, if you would like, what, from what I've heard, he used to change forms and hide in the skins of other people. This assassin. Well, none, no, nothing like that can really get past my eyes so if you want and you give me the opportunity I could take a look over your personnel just to make sure that no one isn't who they're saying or pretending to be oh that's a great idea No, I'm certain we can arrange that, yes. I think everything you have seen so far. All clear so far. Mm. Every second servant is a doppelganger. <laughs> Every third is a reptiloid. Oh, dude. What is the king? Of course, a reptiloid. <laughs> Makes sense. You and TM wants us. <laughs> 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 He's a, he's a Decepticon. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Transformers. <laughs> Robots in disguise. <laughs> All right. Um. Fuck, what's happening? I have no clue where we currently are. I'm a bit lost, I, I have to admit. I think we all are. I, I mean, is that it? Are we done and we wait no. for the creature to appear? We certainly are not. If we were done, if this would have... Yes, maybe if we have to wait for the creature to appear, yes. But we shouldn't wait here. Hmm. We should wait where it's most likely to come through, which is probably where Lady Kazar is waiting. Okay. I say we. Excuse me, you can go. Yeah, if that creature is anything like Oko and is knowledgeable of us, then another battle is going to be a little tough. And Oko was pretty well prepared for us and knew exactly what to hit us with to screw things up a lot. It Anything? was very interesting to see the first time, my personal first time, of seeing vampires suffering from water, though. Yeah, that was new. That was unexpected. Speaking of suffering, I'm not sure if if that invisible caster. I heard drac a draconic word. 
Lady Kazar con confirmed as much, yes. Yeah, had some stuff in the book he had. Do you guys think that there's a connection to, to dragons in there somewhere? Would make sense. Well, not necessarily. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm a human, and like have a flute that. Uh, I mean, I can turn into a dragon, but I don't directly have anything to do with a dragon. It could be the same thing that he found something. Yes, and for Lady Kazar, the same thing too, right? An elf who knows a lot of about about dragons. Yeah, this ain't rather ancient. Uh... <laughs> Yes, build stuff. <laughs> it's bound to be a few things. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your reaction. I I'm laughing because you're like, "Come on, Dam! Come on! Give me your secrets!" Break. <laughs> Break. I think we should recuperate as fast as possible. Take a look oh. at what we found at uh, Oko's place and see if it can be of any use. And as soon as we are a little more well rested, let's head for Northwest to support Lady Kazar. Yeah, working, on, working on identifying her. So. Mm -hmm. I need clothes. Yeah, it's useless doing all that. So yeah. Yeah. So, um, so let's get to work, or you get to resting. That would be nice. I need someone to make I mean, me clothes. Yes, that's not a task that requires. A lot. And then I would like. I think. I, I think. I think I could be done with this day after that. Yeah, you can just uh, take a nice long sleep, as long as it, isn't, as it isn't as long as the last one. So now that you have a new body, you think your tastes have changed? Um, I don't know. My, my voice does, definitely has changed. It's a bit higher than before. Uh, you like some different foods now or something? Nah. Let's start with what I usually eat and crave and salted cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> also, this is not fat. You're pregnant. <laughs> what? You're no. What? No. No. It's Lady Kazar's. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Okay. She's not time for that herself, so yeah. <laughs> uh, this is your job now. And so Leos has retired and took maternity leave. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, so, um, yeah, mm -hmm. there's this another awkward moment when Albert kind of notices that you guys are as usually in your own a little world like you're so important and talking to each other ignoring everybody else in the room <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of gives uh, Leos uh, one more handshake and as oh fuck uh, I'm terribly sorry this was so rude uh, is there anything that you wanted to discuss anything that you wanted to know from us I'm sorry the the last Day has been weird. Yes, you have been dead. Yeah. And there were things happening before the... Oh, man, I can't even start. Uh, uh, others of you have informed me of... have done. And it seems you yet don't have quite a plan for the future. I will see you later, but... I well, assume your magic will disappear at some point, so... Let's not well, scare any more servants. Uh, yeah, I will. Hmm. I think it might be wiser if I actually do around through 
the castle in my new form so people are aware of that it's okay for me to be here. Otherwise, they will think there is... Some stranger walking around the castle. There's a stranger walking around in the castle. <sighs> Unsupervised. Unsupervised, with two cakes in his hands and <laughs> talking like Leo's. Oh, cakes, I would love a cake. Yes, and I understand your rush, but as you've said okay. many times and then forgotten, wait until somebody gets into your room with new clothes. Yeah, that would be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot that I'm still so almost like. Um, also, oh, remember what I told you about <laughs> nutrition? If you want to cut down a cake, might not be the best idea. Ah, you know what? I just read a book on nutrition, and <laughs> I think <laughs> I have a good clue on what is good for me and what not. Uh, thank you, but I think I did deserve a fucking cake. Yeah, yeah. It's a new body, new you. You know, spoil yourself a little bit before <laughs> committing to further changes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Enough change for the day. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, I mean. If honestly, if if I get tired of this form, I just transform into someone else. It's fine. By yeah, next morning, good. Castle Crimson has lost half of its wartime supplies, and Leos <laughs> has obtained the shape of a perfect sphere. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he teleports to another plane, and this is how we found yeah, the that's, that, that's the sphere of cake annihilation. <laughs> the blob. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go uh, have some uh, clothes maker uh, make some clothes, take <laughs> sides. Uh. Tell them to, to bring the very, very long band for measuring. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so uh, you do that. She's recuperating. Um, I'll get to that part later. Uh, the rest of you, uh, at some point, uh, like, do you stick together? Do you all like spread all around the castle? I have nothing to do apart from like look at the new things we found, so I'm just gonna chill Melora? with Sardos, who's gonna be identifying. Yeah, mostly Melora, I guess, is the question. Uh, I think she's still feeling a little, even now, even after a day, she'd still be feeling a little down about the whole thing with Pip. So she'd probably just go and relax. And... Mm. Alright. Uh, okay. In that case, at some point, um, somebody will find you and Trega. And you'll get a rundown of uh, the valuables you have surrendered to the servants. Um, just to give you a short rundown, uh, the majority of the value comes from gems. There is about 49,000 gold in gems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more like there are 21 gems for a total value of 49,000 gold. Damn. Uh, there are also 11,908 gold pieces in two chests. And the second major part of valuables, a chest with 3,709 platinum coins. Okay. And then another like twenty-seven thousand gold in variable in various uh, works of art and uh, smaller gems and so on. So is out of character, those numbers down. Hmm? No, uh, this is for the king. We gave this to the king. So yeah. well, out of character, you. the Heron, the investment in Heron's town has paid for itself already. <laughs> Apart from the deeds done. Alone them in, in money terms, it's already been benefit. How much? How much? Uh, uh, how much did we get back then from from the king when we went on our well, crazy uh, shopping spree? Uh, around fifty k, like uh, or like thirty k was the book, and then. Oh yeah, the book was very expensive. Uh, Sixty-eight thousand. Yeah, so probably we came come out about even, maybe. Well, it depends on how much you give to the king. 
All of it. Because, as I've said, uh, the oh, total value of valuables, gold, platinum, and gems is 116,571 gold bits. And from what we can tell, the majority of Oko's vaults were empty. Damn! So yeah, you maybe like recover like 5% of what was stored inside of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Could have right. kept the bit for ourselves. <laughs> well, I mean, I no, no, but is it, is valuables are like stored. You haven't officially officially surrendered them, so you were given you're given a list, and so far, they're. Um, the owner of these valuables is for well, now you. It's up to you to finalize oh, your surrender it? or... It's up to you to decide what to do with them. Do we um, want to fi finalize it? I, I thought we already did, so I'm totally fine with handing over the entire... Wait thing. until you talk oh. to Albert later. Alright, sure. Um, and then... Uh, Zarus, you've been uh, identifying everything that you've looted from magical stuff, right? Yes. Alright. So, uh, you do confirm that you have found three portions of superior healing. You have also found an item known as a necklace of fireballs with five beads. Don't bother writing down, I'm gonna give it all to you, I'm just uh, naming it. You found a decanter of endless water. You found yes. an iron stone of agility. Uh, you mm. found a staff of frost with some unique properties. And then, uh, from Oko, you found, like, the floating disc, uh, which I'll surrender your description in a moment, uh, the Orb of Negation, and the Book of Nevek. Um, and as I've previously mentioned, for the Book of Nevek, uh, you can study it to learn magic from it, or decipher it. But if you want to use uh, special properties of the book, uh, like additional spell casting and like the magic inherent to the book, you do need to attend to it. So unless you attend to it, the only thing you can do is use it as a basically book of spells. Okay. Who wants to attune to the book of Nevek? Because that's definitely a very good idea. Oh yeah, I'm getting it here right on. Zardos, you want to go? <laughs> such good, 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 good times attuning to oh, the new stuff. It's... All the best experiences, but you know, like yeah. judging. You know, you've already made all of the bad experiences, right? The next one has to be good. Like the cat yeah, just just yeah. just by odds. Yeah, it's got to be so much better. Yeah, look, look, but you haven't. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure last uh, week I told you don't read it, and you haven't read it, so you don't know all the good things the book can do. So read it and check it out. I mean, it's a legendary item. You haven't had many of those before. Any? Anyway. Oh, the disc. Um, and I'm gonna give you the link. Nope. Uh, copy, paste, to a Google Doc file where there's a whole list of all the variables with um, quantities and values and descriptions, and all the magical items inside of it have links to uh, descriptions. So, yeah. Yes, you're level 17. This is nothing. Yeah, it's true. The Staff of Frost, what can I... Ooh. Alright. In that case, uh, check the stuff out. And let's use this moment to take a short break. Mm -hmm. Where is the stuff? Uh...
Okay. So. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, you've brought back Lewis, you restored Niyati, you have a lot of treasure, and you need to decide what to do with it. And you've got some time on your hands before bad things start happening. You think? You're not sure? Oh. I never told you. Um, question for the group for us to discuss. Should we go on the road and pick up Anna? Or should we just leave her to her environment? Rasim doesn't care. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. What about the others? Um, something we could do. Uh, you know me, I'm good for whatever the majority decides. Well, apparently nobody cares. Ah, uh, okay. So if time allows it, I am definitely for getting her off the road and bringing her to the castle quickly. I yeah, guess we have to figure out where she is first. Uh, I mean, yeah, I assume that she would be on some major road for for an expedient return. Um, I could send her, for example, a message, ask her if they are on the road. If they are not, they should go there because we're coming there to pick her up directly. Uh, yeah. That would be my suggestion. Alright. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, um, sure. In that case, while you wonder what to do with your magical stuff and treasures and everything else, uh, you, Leos, get a visit from Jahan and the tray of food who gives you like a look over and goes ha <laughs> I've heard that you have changed Oh yes, that's a body of a warrior <laughs> That's a body of a cake warrior my friend But yeah actually I like it It's different Ah uh, it's okay sometimes you need a bit more food to make your day and now that you notice, it does seem like Jahan himself has dived into cooking as a way to get over his inability to adventure anymore. And mm. he didn't get fat, but you notice the extra like 5-10 kilograms on his massive frame, just like in the roundness of his cheeks. Uh, but he brings you... F Actually, you're not sure if your current body can eat all of this, it might. The old you definitely would not have been able to eat all of that. But you've got a full three-course meal with dessert. Mm. And he says... And I hear you've got your lady friend back. I've got some uh, liver for her and tomato juice. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. And other things. She... Well... Same thing happened to her as did to you. She got turned to stone. However, they took her apart beforehand a bit. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm pretty sure, or at least I hope. I, I mean, she's strong. She will bounce back, but honestly, I don't know what they did to her, so. Well, it's nothing some steamed kidneys cannot fix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's hope. How's your back? Oh. Well, it's fine. Um, unless I try to swing an axe. Hmm. Well, food is definitely... If you ask me, I would prefer to cook than to go and fight at this point. Well, 
And we do need somebody else to um, clean the potatoes, if you want to. <laughs> I kind of look like one, a potato. Or a soft <laughs> potato. Ah, uh, yeah. I fear I'm not done with the fighting as of yet. Oh. Well, you have a choice. That's good. Choices are good. Oh. It's. I don't know if you can really consider it a choice. But what I do you mean? Consider. You can fight, or you cannot fight. If you, if you like living, then there is no choice. You have to fight. That's where we currently are. So it's not really a choice. I mean, I could just give up and not do it, but no, give up, no good. That would increase the chances of the creature that Oko summoned to succeed. Ah, never mind. Don't want to bore you with the details. Thank you for the food. I appreciate it, honestly. This smells delicious. And I start munching. It tastes delicious. Does it? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Otherwise, I will lie to him. Um, it's a bit greasy. <laughs> oh, wait. oh, it's like, okay. It, it, looks, it looks better than it tastes. It seems that it was done a bit too quickly. I will still say that it's very delicious. He laughs and... Oh, I'll leave you with a tray. Just get into the kitchen and you're done. Thank you. Alright. And he gets out of the door and you hear him rolling another tray off the hallway. Um... Alright. Well... Um... Finish your food. Do you eat all of it? Do you leave some behind? I will eat slow. Okay, but steady. As as the book suggested, <laughs> and uh, I will drink a bit of water 15 minutes before I start eating, so that my stomach is prepared and will settle more quickly. For and then I will eat slow. And I will eat everything. <laughs> Make me a constitution saying throw. Oh, okay. <laughs> you eat everything. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm not oh, sure uh, if that was a good idea. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say at least dessert was good. Uh, it's heavy. Yeah. It's like if you, if you eat these things <laughs> separately, it's gonna be great, but all together. He was worried more about uh, calories rather than balance. Mm. Ah, it's my first day in this body. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I will start carrying tomorrow. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, anybody else? What are you doing? You have like an hour while she eats and stuff happens. Short resting. Short resting. Alright. You do a lot of those, old man. He never sleeps, so he needs a lot of short rest. <laughs> yeah, lots of cat naps. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Delora? Also need that spell slot back. Eh, I guess she would just sit back and relax until we're ready to head out and look for her. I think he's gonna do something nice to you. I'm not sure what, but he's gonna do something nice. Yeah, uh, she would need it. Well, he does it anyway, because he's right now. No, that's what I mean. She would <laughs> ah, need <okay>. it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, Zavis. You go back uh, to your own room? Yeah, no. I'll see about... getting spells from this book. Uh, where are you? Because that's important. 
Where were we doing all this before? In I mean, various I, people's rooms. I was probably chilling nearby since that well is what I said in the. Yeah, we don't really need I'm, to go anywhere just yet. Just I'm long rest there. and I'm short resting close to him. Okay, oh, yeah. sure. That's interesting. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, the book has uh, several, well, two, I guess. Well, more like three, but well, more like four. Anyway, <laughs> it has multiple parts on spells. So there is a part where she assume was written by Oko. It is, however, written in a language I believe you personally do not speak. Uh, deep speech. Yeah. So um, you need either knowledge of the language or a translator if you wish to transcribe those spells into your book. Yeah, that's what I was gonna hope to find some translator or some books to help me transcribe or whatever. Somebody or something to help that process. And because our simulacrum, while well, she's still here, if that's possible, mm -hmm. yeah. No. Well, if you get over uh, the language, from then on you should be able to transcribe them as normally. You'll obviously need time to decipher them, but that's already part yeah. of your ability. Now the part about uh, Nevex magic. It is written in language you understand. It is archaic, but it is understandable. It has. It is accompanied by his um, musings upon the nature of various types of magic and the use of life energy and souls as arcane um, as energy. Yes, as energy as, as catalyst. Uh, like half of it is basically more like a research paper rather than an actual spell book. Uh, but then there are the parts where he does that research into the lores of death and the lore of shadows. And here, although you understand the language, the magic itself is incredibly complicated. And um, basically like trying to read, I don't know, I don't know the word in English, but basically, like, you know, like high, high level math, the kind of you like you study for your master's degree. Uh, so you you'll need to sit down and try to figure it out, which means you'll need to make some rolls for me. So, and in that case, you'll need to decide whether you want to study Lord of Death, Lord of Shadows, or he writes about uh, the magic of dragons and about its uniqueness and his research into creating magic that works in a manner similar to draconic worlds but with different rules and his research on three of such worlds that he has created and you can try to research those as well but the problem is those worlds are in draconic and from what you know, remember from Lady Kazar saying, even if you read it all and figure it out, you'll still need to learn Draconic first to actually use them. Yeah. So you need to decide whether you want to start working with, I don't know, uh, Rasim's help or somebody else's help on Oko's spellbook, uh, or start deciphering uh, Lore of Shadows or Lore of Death. Or start learning Draconic. <laughs> Which is a good idea, but maybe not today. I don't know. Up to you. Yeah, definitely one kind of curious as, as to the, uh, the lore items, the lore of shadows. But start with the spell book for now. All right. And whose help would you like to obtain? Uh, well, for seems there, I'll just mm -hmm. start there. All right. Um... Wait, I should have it somewhere. Yeah. Um. Mm. All right. That came. Okay, is uh, listen. Just make me another kind of check to see how accurately you transcribe everything to you. All right. There you go. That's good enough to give you a full list of stuff. That's in that book. 
which we, I will add to the item card shortly. Uh, meanwhile, consider what other things you guys want to do. Do we want to take a look for another look for the circlet at some point? Or have someone take a uh, go look for it? Just throw money at the problem until it solves itself. Yeah, I think that works. The solution. Yeah. I think that might be better. I'm sure the king would know some people who know some people who might have some of those lying around. Mm. A couple of noble families just have to have a few. Pop, pop. Um. Like. Do, 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 do. See, I do it like this. And this. No, don't wanna. Why? Complicated list. <laughs> no, it's more like the um, uh, what they call it. Uh, the um, formatting of where I'm copying mm -hmm. it from and where I'm copying it mm. does the one work together. Yeah. Let's see what if I do it like this. Does Control Alt V work on this on the receiving program? Control Alt V usually gives you the option to decide if you want format less or. You know. No, I think it does. All right, well, I'll give it to you eventually. <laughs> um, I've heard uh, thoughts about um, uh, getting the jade musicals. I mean, can we have it uh, procured? Ah, I mean. You're that lazy. Yes, that lazy. Uh, sure. Um, I mean, do you want to shopping it again? No, it's just that you guys might have better abilities than other people, but you may not have the time that other people have. Um, I mean, I'm willing yeah. to try and find it. Yeah, you're not one of the people with good abilities. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, say, we, maybe we can try, and if it doesn't work out, just have someone else do it. I mean, sure. uh, how much, uh, how much stuff are you ready to throw at this? Um, what's the usual cost? One thousand five hundred. I don't know. Um. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it needs to be at least 1500. So, I mean, if she needs to, well, I know Trego is not going to be happy How with about... this, but she would be willing to go a little. How about we go, we say 10k? Yeah, yeah throw a finder's fee. Yeah, throw a finder's fee at someone who's, you know, find for us quickly. Hmm. Ten K for you to cast shape change. Fine by me. Or whatever it's called. How, yeah, it's shape it change. It is shape I just change. I just feel like the only other level nine spell I have is foresight and we already got Leos that can cast it. You mean Rosim? Oh Rosim, sorry. Yeah, but we can have Zardos and Trego in full battle mode. This too. <laughs> it's not so bad. I, yeah, that would do. I'd still like to be able to have the option to do shape chain. Yeah, it's very nice to have. Also, it's more it's cool because you can do stuff on your own. I like that. 
Fuck for a sight, yeah. That's a cool buff, but I only took it because it fit Rasim and all of the other spells are fit. It's a, uh, I'm gonna make somebody else look very cool spell. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some people enjoyed it. Yes. Mostly the people who are on the receiving end. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm just gonna uh, do this, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've just added the um, list of the spellbook to the treasure. Um, Google Doc. So you can find it over there, just for convenience, because I can't paste it normally into a book, so fuck it. Oh, where do I, did I put that fucking thing? No, All right. Uh, okay, so you are willing to spend a lot of money, and lots of people to get stuff. Where is it? Mm. Ah, here. I mean, there are some. Anything in there you don't already have, or? Uh, a few things. But I mean, like, uh, you can only cast up to <laughs> what, level 4 now? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I think I'm still at 3rd. I think you have, level uh, next, I think you next have spell level. slots, but you don't have the... Yeah, uh, I have spell slots up to 5, but you can only cast up to 3rd, I believe. You're a level 6 wizard, so yeah. yeah. Alright. Let's see, somebody go searching. Somebody go searching. I'm gonna give them advantage for being king's people. Oh, that's a very good roll. They have a bonus of a lot. And they also have a bonus of a lot of money. Well, they have the bonus for the money. Yeah. Okay. Um, no bonus for time because you want it to be fast. Uh, Ooh. Is much so let's say mm. <gasps> oh. You can throw the entire necklace. I didn't even know that about the necklace of fire beast. Oh, uh, really? fireball. Yeah, you can and it just increases the spell level of fireball for one by each for by one it's for each. It's a bit a bit of waste. Yes. It's a lot of waste, but yeah. sometimes it's also only one action. Yeah, I mean if if you know that you only have that one action, might as well just throw uh, everything out. Uh, exactly. Level 8 fireball, oh. here you go. Uh, Alright, damn. Um, okay. 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 Um, Would be only level 7. Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Ooh. Well, that's what, 11d6? Yeah, probably. We're still at 12? No, 12. Alright. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Alright, so you two figure that out. Uh, you see the spell list, right? Yes. Yeah. Now you understand why I said, oh, it should have been really cool to use that spell when Leos died. Finger of Death, you mean? No. That one I tried to use on Melora. <laughs> ah, the one I have too. Yes, yes. that one. But it's it's not it's not that great, honestly. Uh, it would have been real fun and flavorful. Flavorful, yes. I mean, yes. it only prolongs uh, it for eight hours. But okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so you've sent off a servant with a 10k check to do stuff. 
uh, they will return later. Um, also, since we're here, um, uh, what did you decide about the treasure you keep and treasure you give away? I think we only oh, do you want to think about magic. it. Do you want to think about it? I think we only talked about magic items. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we want to keep main... money. All right. Well, we at least like to keep enough to help try and transcribe it. I mean, we can just thing. blank check the king. I'd say eighty twenty. We've 80 already for you. The... <laughs> no, eighty towards eighty to the king, twenty k to us. I don't care. I'm okay with it. So Laura has decided 80 20. And no, we'll that's make... just her that's her vote. Yeah, well if no one else has an opinion, her vote is yeah. uh, what the council has ruled. Honestly, I'm um, fine with that. Yeah, that sounds I good. would also be fine with giving everything because the war is expensive and I'm not sure how much of it we currently need. So 8020 would be fine for me. Sure, we have decided. Alright. Alright, sure. Uh, okay, in that case a few more things happen. Uh, one, um, after you're done with your food, uh, Leos, and uh, spend a little bit of time uh, wallowing on the bed and burping it up. You do get a, a visit from uh, Kazar, from the simulacrum. Oh. So kind of knocks on the door. Come on! No, she's kind of already in the door, she's more like, for attention. Oh, knocked. yeah. Uh, well, hello! <laughs> yeah. And while you were eating, let's say, uh, servants came in, they took your measurements. They brought you like a, basically like a robe. To her mm. for now, so at least you are somewhat presentable, uh, and said that they'll have your clothes uh, maybe by the morning. Uh, oh, fantastic! For your size, yeah. And she uh, kind of walks into the room as I have heard good news going around the castle. Uh. Point one. Uh, about Niati, you mean? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Let's see how fucked up she is. Um, what is worth congratulations on saying? Oh, honestly, uh, it wasn't my doing was the rest of the folks who brought her back. I was dead at that point, I think. Pretty sure. Yes, most certainly. But... Very well, congratulations on her being saved. And brought back safe and sound. Thank you. I shall return to Neba for the moment. I need to... Um, do, do you want me to bring you? No, I shall use the circle in the castle. Oh, okay. And... Yes, I need to make certain arrangements about your body and... Uh, I have asked me to get some information. I have a, I have a theoretical question. Uh, I'm not sure if, if you know the answer, but... There's a good chance I do, but ask away. Oko used the draconic word 
I'm pretty sure just before I died, I heard the word death. Out of character, I do remember that, do I? Yes. Okay. Yes. Is, is, is that just him being smart and learning about draconic words like that, or did, did, did he have a connection? Did Nevek have a con connection to dragons? Draconic words are a type of magic. Hmm. So theoretically, there is someone arcane else could. magic that I and mostly you use. There's a mm -hmm. divine magic of some of your friends, and so on. The dragons okay. had their own type, one that had to be distilled into other magics for mortals to be used. Still, someone skilled enough can learn, learn that magic. Okay. Hmm. I've heard about such research being done by Said. I have not read his notes until yesterday, but it appears his abilities were impressive. He has divided his own words based on the magical dragons. Uh, all, is all draconic magic that powerful? For all I know is the, the only two words that I heard of one may me die immediately or I assume that it may me die. I don't know how the process went. And the other one you described as being a shitstorm of fire. I think. Mm, yes. Is that like... The, the upper end of that magic, or is it the lower end? The one that killed you. Or is it you, just that cluster? The one that killed you was one of the more powerful worlds. You mm. must have. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm certain he used the book to cast it. I do not believe Ogre himself was capable of such arcane capacity. For, from what I saw in the book, that world requires a ninth circle to huh. be used. So, in theory, you and I are capable of using it. The draconic words, however, when used by the dragons, some of our troops. Damn. So, I'd imagine if spoken by a dragon, would have the magic for it and the knowledge to adjust it. The war that killed you could have laid waste to many more people. <laughs> Shit. Yes. That must have been. Can't even imagine what that time must have been like fighting those dragons. If if they can just swoop in and kill people with a single word. To be fair, such magic seems to have been mostly reserved to the strongest of dragons. I know, I assume the Grugor Grand had it, after all, that's how he made the whole dimension for the dragons. As for the rest, the mother of dragons have been sealed for many centuries. What she could have learned or developed over that time is unknown to me. I've read about other dragons that were Incredibly skilled in magic. I have a name in mind that could have matched Grugal and his knowledge. But I doubt that every dragon had the ability. Hmm. Okay. That's at least a bit reassuring. Yes. Although for your own benefit. And to heed my warning that I have given you before you had it in this layer of vocal, you better be ready that they do have such magic. Yeah, that whole thing completely changed my scale of expectations. 
And I'm not even sure I've heard everything that went on after I was out of it. The others were weaker, but you can ask Triangle how it felt. Hmm. Yeah. Any news from your other self? Yes, About... she intends to make the first move if nothing happens soon. But our communication was short. She was trying okay. to preserve her energy and I am mostly expired. I believe mm. my business in Nebo will be the last time we get to speak. See. Thank you for coming with us and probably saving our ass. I have merely done what I was done today. I don't know. So, thank you. Anyway, however it came about, thank you. She... Well... Yeah. Yeah. Um... I think we don't have exactly many plans, so we thought about joining Lady Kazar in her search. Would she like that, or would she just be, ah, oh, what the fuck are you doing here? Get out of my back. I'm doing this on my own. I'll call you when I need you. I mean this in the most polite way that just did, probably didn't sound complimentary, but I know that other people can be an... I catch your drift. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I am certain that I will appreciate your help in the battle to come. As for the rest, you will have to ask her. I do not... I was... I was transferring the information I have obtained to her. Hmm. We didn't have the opportunity for her to share it, nor do I believe she had an intent to share it with me. Okay. I will... Uh, I will ask her. Thank you. She, like, nods, starts walking away, turns around kind of halfway. You... A while ago, you played a song for me in one of these rooms. Now that you've had her saved, do you believe that song will change? No. Uh, it's... I will not deny that I did have quite romantic feelings for her in the past. I mean, she's my wife, <laughs> uh, but that was essentially me misreading the relationship and in time I learned uh, that that Neyati was more a mentor than anything else for me. A close, close, close friend. But she was pretty much the only person that I had contact with, and I would defend her with my life, but... I would do the same for the other people that I travel with. 
So I don't think it changes the song. I know that it doesn't change. I see. Well, have a nice day. You too. And she walks away. And I close the door behind her. All right. Um, Anything I was missing? Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, you guys have some more time if you want to do something. Good shit. Any ideas? Uh, yeah, all right. Just working on transcribing. Yeah, you do that. You know how it works. Do tell me later what you do. Um, Actually, since we are spending time, I'm just gonna unattune from my ring finger, unattune, and I'll attune to the staff of Frost after. Well, since that one only takes one minute, so it's still only one hour. Huh? Basically. Sure. No problem. You have time for that. Does anyone have a really, really cool item for me to attune to? <laughs> because I don't like the staff really that much. I mean, the orb, the disc. The problem with the orb is if you attune to it, uh, it gets used up whether you want it or not. Somebody casts a cantrip on you, it gets used up. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, that, that, that's that's charges is not like use. No. I, I thought it was basically no. like two uses of no, the no, spell, no, no, no. but this it's is just like. It's an automatic defense system. Mm. Oh, it's a piece of shit, okay. It's not a <laughs> piece of shit, throw it, it in, could throw be it in the garbage. incredibly useful in a certain situation. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, especially since it's technically an AoE. Well, not technically, it is an AoE. Uh, but it is an item that was built to fight you guys, yeah. Basically. Okay, I'll toss that one. Yeah. No, hold on to that for toss me. Toss an orb something. to your bard! Oh, GM of plenty. <laughs> um, I don't uh, think we have any other real cool light. There's always the uh, the robe ahead. Yeah, the robe of. What is it called? Uh, actually, the arachna. Uh, the arachna. You can you might benefit from the iron stone, because it will increase your dexterity by two. Uh. Who gives a fuck about plus two, plus one AC? Uh, I'm just saying that you're the one who might benefit from it, but up to you. You uh, made it. I mean, I mean, that would be a, a plus one on AC, plus one and on compared plus one on initiative, and compared to the staff that I don't use at all, I think it would still be. I mean, I, I will switch it out until I find something else that I... You want a ring of resistance to necrotic damage? Mm. Could be nice against this god, but I'm not sure. Mm. There is also the robe of scintillating color. It has a nice yeah. effect. Yeah. That belongs that... to a dead man. <laughs> yes, so does the staff he's currently wielding. So yes, but he didn't argue. wear the staff. He didn't know what he did in that robe. <laughs> it's true, there's still some dust in the robe. So... Yes, uh... it's very dusty. Uh... Yeah, that robe, the robe of the Iraqi. I mean, honestly, like, the Book of Nevex seems pretty cool if you want to try yeah. very cool. Yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna... <laughs> but you're not a wizard, so you're... Uh, to be fair, you. actually, like, um, uh, the one who gets the most benefit from the book is still uh, Zardus, because he's the only wizard. Uh, he's also the only person who can he only is only He's the one who can attempt it, yes. Mm. Yeah, actually. Because, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is a book by the wizard for the wizard. By a wizard. For a wizard. Uh I'm I'm gonna switch out the attuning to the uh to the iron stone. Um just until something happens that makes me change my mind. Did it pick up any like 
sentience from this book as I identified it. Just out of curiosity. Sentience, curses, anything of that nature. Just so I know. To use an action to toss it, ugh. What? Which what? The, the Ion Stone for it to take uh, effect. Yes, but I mean, you need to do it when you activate it, that's it. Like, you can leave it's it permanently basically when on. You... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but if it's floating around my head all the time, everybody can see it, maybe yes. someone tries to steal yes. it. Uh, yes, I mean, sure, you might have to precast it before combat starts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean that that in combat in high stake combat that's one action that I would never use. Well, I mean you're like okay, we're standing yeah. in front of August Mansion. Go. That's what I meant. Yeah. Up to you. Do whatever you want. Uh... We do have the fortitude thing also, don't we? Or what was it? Mm, sustenance. Which? What does that do? You don't need to eat or something. Eat. Yeah. Ugh. It's excellent for your new character. <laughs> <laughs> or we could put you on a diet of good berries. Oh, yeah. Me too. Oh. <laughs> I would probably start calling them sad berries because it would satisfy me, but it would still make me sad because it's not easy. It's all you get to eat here. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Fuck it. Ah, uh, fuck the iron stone. I don't like it. Ah! Uh, like I said, if you want to walk on walls, you can always take this other cloak. Like poison which, resistance. Which cloak? Cloak of the Arachnid. Do you not need it? He's a vampire. Yeah. Poison resistance is pretty much all I get from it at this point. Oh, sure thing. And and the whip spell, the yeah. But it's a present from your girlfriend! Your other girlfriend! Your other other girlfriend! <laughs> no, that originally. The, yeah, the, that the came giant, from the Spider Queen. The, the giant yeah. Spider Queen wanted to give it to Leos, who talked oh, right. to her. And then yeah. first uh, Arlos took it, and afterwards right, Arlos. Right, right, right. And then, yes, give it back to Leos. Give it back to Leos. Yeah. Imagine um, what happens if you talk to the Spider Queen now. Ah, juicy, plump, good feed for the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was yeah, there I'm any... Gonna, uh... I'm gonna take it. Take it, uh, take yeah. it, take it! Yeah, I mean, uh, that way I can get out of range of someone trying to stab me on the floor. That's always nice. <laughs> there you go. Uh, all right. Um, okay. Well, uh, worst case scenario, you guys can talk about this during the week. You have time. Yeah. Um, at some point during your research, spell writing, or food, or cuddling, or whatever you're doing, um, you get not not all of you. Uh, Leos. Melora and Trego get knocks on their door uh, from servants who summon you to see the king. Ooh! Yes, I shall follow. You shall jolly. jolly, jolly Merrily roll around, roll about. Jovially. Jovially, yes. Genically. <laughs> genical Leos. Genically dances on the genical moon. <laughs> uh, uh, where was I? 
Uh, and Milor, do you follow? Sure. All right. Uh, you die in transit. No. <laughs> uh, you um, are brought uh, basically to the top floor of the castle, same floor where uh, Albert <laughs> has his. Uh... <laughs> That's a top tier pun right there. <laughs> Yeah, there's a Mr. There's Mr. Bean and there's Mr. Jelly Bean. Uh, oh, so, and the cow in the calorie. Uh, where was I? Yes. So yeah, they bring it to the third floor where the king study is, but not into his office, but rather into one of the adjacent room. And you do arrive at a slightly different time. I mean, Leos and Melor plus Trega, because Melor and Trega are always together! Um, much to my dis dismay. Uh, but uh, you are greeted inside by Albert. Uh, and the room looks like... Um, I don't remember the word in English, but you know, like those rooms where um, people gather to basically smoke cigars and drink whiskey? Lounge? Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of those. And uh, the fireplace is going strong. There's soft carpet on the floor. There are multiple uh, armchairs uh, placed around the table. And Albert kind of motions for you to choose a seat uh, while he's kind of in the back of the room uh, next to him. Um, Piece of furniture that contains within it multiple bottles of alcohol. And I've once again forgotten how that's called. Uh, and uh, do you sit down? Yeah. All right. Sure. Hello? Yep. Um, um, yeah. I will. Im you will? By this point, I by the way, you look like. Yeah. yeah. I want to. I wanna. There are two things. Yes. For one, one. I wanna know how the king reacted to my new shape. Because I think that might be the first time that he actually sees it. Well, he hasn't reacted yet. His back is kind of turned towards you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And I wanna check if that is actually the king because that is literally the first time that i have met him in another room than than his uh his his office for a meeting no he's met the occasion in other places uh, he's been present for multiple resurrection rituals oh yeah right. uh how do you want to check roll me investigation check see if that's yeah i want to check if there's an illusion on him 13. Oh, that's uh that's the king, yes. Okay, I'm satisfied. You 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 see the name of the label on the bottle and you're like, that's the king. That's my king. <laughs> that's good whiskey, yeah. But he basically he picks up like a bottle of like some sort of wine and of a uh, harder liquor. And uh, at this point he turns around and uh, like makes a couple steps. And then, like, like, for a moment he looks confused, like he wants to say something. Then you see his face kind of clears up, like, right. He looks like this now. And he puts both bottles onto the table and sits into one of the three armchairs and just starts by quietly popping the um, cork opener into the wine bottle and getting that open and then doing the same with the hard liquor there are already glasses on the table enough for each of you to take a glass of wine and a glass of whiskey um, and he just says can, he sits down pretty like heavily and like slouching well 
Et voilà. Can I ask you a question? Yep. Um, is there any news from Gaul? I mean, they have been hit and by Barus's army. Yes. Was there any reaction to that? Hopefully, them seeking. Well, at least a ceasefire or something like that. But do they assume that it was us sending demons? I, in political terms, it has not been that long yet. Hmm. I have not received any arcane communication and no messengers would have had time to arrive. Honestly, I am not sure if the remaining royals of Gaul are yet aware of what has transpired. Mm. But truth is I've lost an army but that's not the only one they have both their sons are dead and I'm certain that their neighbors in the south and in the east will not let this moment slide And so did we. We've lost too many people. And the rest are still spread all our well done. Preparing for the dragon scent. Holding control of the towers. Speaking of which, they give an order to burn them down. I think so. I don't know if there are any other mechanisms, that traps still at place. Yeah. I mean, they have lost their value. All the devices are destroyed. And I don't trust them. I would recommend starting with one and wait and see if it actually burns down properly without any more explosions or something like that so others can be safe hmm. when they burn the rest of them down. Yes. Uh, he stands up and um, walks to like one of those tables, uh, gets a piece of paper, writes something on it, thinks a bit, writes some more, uh, walks to the door, opens it, passes his paper to the servants, the guards standing outside, and returns. Collapses into the chair once again. Rand has lost his son today as well. The sure of you have heard. Fuck. Have we? Out of character? No. Oh, 
okay. he like you've talked to him after the battle mm -hmm. but he didn't tell you or didn't show mm -hmm. that the son was dead oh, fuck <sighs> how is he holding up Is he still at the fort, or are they all retreating? What's the situation down there? There are forces left at the fort, yes. But the wounded and Anna's escort with Grant are returning to Kyrgyzstan. They should arrive more evening call. The day after that. I do not know what to say. Mm -hmm. I've sent them to the battlefield. Now he has to guard my daughter. Instead of ruining for his son, who didn't even recover the bodies. <sighs> ah, that is. Ah, fuck. Can't say anything else than that. But... Honestly, I'm not one hundred percent sure how this is. How? What's the next step? Are we waiting for Gaul to come for us? Are we going for Gaul? No, we're not going anywhere. Can't afford. To. We never had the forces for an invasion, but definitely don't have them now. Yeah. And what I was going to ask you, what are we going to do? You tell me that this god is coming, sending. That is. Catastrophe, yeah. magic are beyond my sphere of competition, com competence. What do we do? Well, so honestly, current... at this point, yeah. he kind of looks desperate. Yeah. He's looking for answers in your faces. Yeah. Both, not both, but yours and Trego and Meloro is. The ones he is known the longest and trusts the most. We continue. We have defeated Oko, a foe who was more than sure that we could never defeat him. And to be fair, it. but here I am. It worked. What guarantees, he kind of glances at Melora, that it works again. There are never guarantees. But... There is only one guarantee that I can give you. That guarantee is that I will give it my everything. To make sure that that creature... is taken down. I will give it my everything and I'm sure that everybody else involved will give it their everything. And we will search for that creature and if we find it we will go for its neck. 
as we did with Oko. Well, Oko didn't have a neck by my, the description that they g gave, but you get what I mean. We continue. We fight. And we will prevail. We have prevailed in, in the past. Even though it never looked like it, we always managed to come through. That is true. And <laughs> it's actually crazy how, how far and, we've gone. And he can also take a lot more on the chin because he has multiple. <laughs> Redundant chin, you know, like in the Warhammer 40k, this the Space Marines have like multiple organs, like multiple hearts, multiple lungs. He has multiple chins. Yes. Uh, anyway. Um... Honestly, we what we do is we gonna take it as things come. I think the best we can do right now is to wait for Gaul to react. Um, wait for them to hear about what happened. Maybe there, there, there are two, three scenarios that I can think of. One, they think that we sent the demons and devils and what not it was. To defeat them. They fought us, they thought they would win, but then they got wiped off the plate. There's one reaction of them thinking this was not a, the best idea for us to attack them. The other thing is, they might think there's a third party. They might seek out a ceasefire. That's, that would be one fire that we could consider under control for a moment or two. Um, third option is they go complete, completely batshit crazy and think we are demon summoners and they will send everything in our way and then we have to deal with that. To be honest, uh, Gaul is my least summary. That I understand, okay. them I can handle. Okay. But the other. He turns towards Trek and Melora. What do you think? You've done a lot to. Maintain morale of the light. What do you think? I um um. I have to... I, I, I go along with what Leo says with... in regards to the god and... um... the dragon. I'm not sure there's anything that we can do to prepare for this, because... we still have no idea what we're going up against. Defeating Oko... didn't... I don't know if it helped. Um... I just... I think, I think everything will be okay if we fight the dragon, at least. We've fought the green kind of dragons before, and we've handled it uh, um, fairly well. And I'd like to think we've gotten stronger since. The god, I don't want to give false hope. I, I don't. I don't... I, I really don't know. Salon has an idea. I, I, I don't really agree with it. Well, that is the... the, the last... 
uh, measure that we're going to take. We're not going to send in a friend as a bomb and without knowing what will happen. We will try. But yeah, there's that. I give you guys a tactical nuke and you don't want to nuke it from orbit. Uh, Player-wise, I do. But I know Melora, she wouldn't want to sacrifice her friend. Wow, and Jesse does. Okay. <laughs> Duly noted. Don't oh. give Jesse nuclear warheads. For for me, it's directly uh, vice versa. I wouldn't want to do it, but Leah's. I mean, as long as it works. Alright. Um. Yeah. Middle roll me a precision check with advantage. Alright. Because I'm so good at those. Thank you for mm -hmm. the advantage. Well, I mean, Lewis was <laughs> helping. But even if he's very confident, if the rest of you aren't, it may affect the outcome. Uh, I'll. You've stated your resolve. Though it does not seem that Albert is quite reassured that everything is going to be okay. Um, at this point, he notices that none of you have been drinking. And oh, I drink. Which do you take? At that point where he gives a like, look at the glasses. <laughs> he, he was basically like going for the hard liquor, for the whiskey. And at this point he like notices that nobody has it, so he feels he's full and he's like... Yeah, I'm gonna... Else? Yeah, I'm gonna take, take uh, one. Don't want him to drink alone. So he feels up yours, he most likely feels up Traeger. Milora, do you go for whiskey or do you go for wine? She'll go for wine. There's a, there's a good bottle of uh, uh, how they call the half wine then half dry. Is it called half dry? I only drink sweet wine, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's, like there's sweet, there's dry, and there's something in between. And semi sweet, I think it's called. Yeah, well, it's it's that. So yeah, there's that. Um, obviously, a very nice bottle. Uh, he downs his glass, pours another one, holds the shot. All right. Look, as long as we live, there's hope. And so I've learned one thing working with these people is that hope can be quite effective. And there's also that that uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Alcohol uh, will do that to you. Uh, no, no, it has been happening to me all day. I feel like I still have to get used to where everything is placed in my head, in this new body. I have to admit, you tell me this every time, I want to believe you. Every time something happens, and I think to myself, our Erna. Are we ever gonna hit rock bottom? Or is this just gonna keep going? That is a very valid question. However, I think, I think it's useless to think about that. Been, what, six months since I got to know you? And looks at Dragon Melora. 
I feel four years older. Sorry. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Albert goes, ah, excuse me. He stands up and walks to the other table, picks up what looks like one of those, um, oh, what all the stones, sending stones, yes. Listens. Well, good news. The tower is coming to me. Okay. Shall we get drunk? Oh. Dude. Oh yeah, fuck yes. Let's get shit faced. We have earned it, but let's let's get the other ones too. Let's make this a nice party. They uh, surely mind, did. I'm telling that to the guards. Oh yeah, sure. I will. I'll uh, go to them and I will. Uh, actually, I will uh, go to Racine and Zaros mm. and say, "Hey, we're getting shit faced with the king. You want to join? It's gonna be fun." Yeah, I, I don't drink. Yeah, sure. The just, king's okay with that. He doesn't just, seem that just, comfortable. Just, just be there when he drinks. He starts dancing and singing. It's awesome. He doesn't. Maybe he does. He did, I think he did that one time. I'm not sure. I was very drunk. It was a good night. Come on. Come on. We we earned it. You earned it. You killed Oko. Come on. Let's go. We, for I'm one second, following him. there is no immediate dagger in our back. Let's enjoy one evening. Let's <laughs> jumps around. There's a dagger in his back. <laughs> I'm just like confused. Little, I look outside at the green light outside the window. I'm like, this is not look, what I feel, but I'll follow. Look, yeah, yeah I, I know. Okay, let me explain that. There is no enemy directly at our doorstep. There is no enemy where we know where they are. So, pretty much what we can do right now is getting late, get drunk, get late. <laughs> You hear, <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> Hello, I am Varus. I'm here to challenge my brother. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I would try to convince him to do that tomorrow. <laughs> yes, Varus, tomorrow. Want a drink? Varus, <laughs> you know what? I think before you start killing your brother, we should have a drink together and try to talk this one out. <laughs> Let's see how no. much... Blood in your undead body can be replaced with pure whiskey. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, uh, I'm not, not sure how comfortable the king is with me, but sure, let's go. Uh, all right, you summon them. Um, uh, I wanted to say something, I don't remember what. Oh, I was gonna say that I seem responds to you like like I respond at corporate parties except Rasim has friends I don't uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think he considers them friends so um, we're on a there okay you have people you like uh, is it like you I don't <laughs> uh, but you all get together uh, by this point Albert has uh, picked up uh, another bottle out of the shelf and if Milo requests a different type of wine he'll get that as well uh, but yeah you can get as drunk as you want there's definitely enough super expensive alcohol to go around for the six of you um, everybody who drinks uh, constitution saying throws please Mm. And do tell me how much you drink. All of it. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I want to at least try a bit to keep up with the king, so... Um, I would make it depending on, on how much he goes for it. 
Well, he does yeah. weight more than you do. Because he's a big man. Does he? He does. Okay. Yeah. But bigger I, than new Leos? Yes. He is a big man. Oh, okay. And he is a big man who still trains. So I, I don't know enough that. about drinking to say what's better to be 90 kilograms of bone and muscle or 90 kilograms of fat. I'm not I'm not sure if it even yeah. really plays a role because it, so there's it's also it's, how yeah. resistant you are, resilient yeah. you yeah. generally yeah. are. If uh, you had, well, I have eaten earlier. Yes, you ate a lot. <laughs> that is definitely an advantage. All right. So that sucks uh, up a bit. Yeah, I'll take some, but not much. Okay, so I see only three rolls. Is there steam drinking? And roll no. for dragon. Oh, wait, I don't. I didn't give you his shit, right? Because there no. was no combat. All right. Uh, Rasim pretends to drink. He doesn't actually drink. And no, Raga... he doesn't pretend. He just sits there. Oh, okay, sure. No pretending. He is being quite rude. And that is Rega. All right. Uh, also, uh, is he? Do paladins have like poison resistance or something? I think it's mm. only for disease. Yeah, it's. it's... Yeah, disease. Uh, body, body, disease. body. Divine health, immune to disease, yeah. Alright. Jesse is immune to poison. So, uh, yeah, actually. Oh, that's no, Jesse is not. <laughs> Milora is. Milora. Actually, I don't know, Jesse. Are you immune to poison? <laughs> Have you tried? I mean, no, probably not really, because all it took was a bottle of wine to get me acting tipsy. Uh, so, yeah. If you drank a bottle of wine and you were just tipsy, I'd call it a heavyweight, no? Oh, okay, then I'm, heavy, I'm a heavyweight. <laughs> well, let's see. When I had my bachelorette party, I had, I think it was like three sand, three bottles, not bottles, three glasses of sangria, two body shots, uh, alcoholic whipped cream, and I still remember the night, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, they have that. That's, that's quite decent. Yeah, that's very decent. <laughs> uh, I usually drink one, one beer and I'm already very tipsy. Really? Or, yeah. On, a, yeah, on a full I, stomach or an empty stomach? On on full stomach. If I drink it quickly, if I drink it like over half an hour, then I'm I'm okay. But if I drink it in like ten minutes, well, I well in ten minutes, the yeah. Because I, I, I think like when we went to the pub, I mean, we didn't drink much, but I think we both were fine. But we like, mm. talked for like two hours or like mm. half a pint of beer. Um. All right. Anyway, so uh, I assume Leos, you're drinking heavily. Uh, yeah. As is the king, uh, Melora. Do you drink heavily? No, nah, she would have been polite and drank okay. maybe one bottle of wine. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be polite. Just give me one bottle of the expensive shit. I, to be fair, you are the one who is most aiming for the wine. I assume. I don't know. Uh, that is what about you? What do you aim for, and how heavy do you? Uh, yeah, I'll just go for the, what you said, scotch or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go for that and really just one cup. Mm. All right. One glass. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna say that Milora and Zardos, you are basically completely fine. Uh, Zardos, it does appear that uh, while your dead body is not immune to poison, or resistant even, mechanically, uh, it does seem that this one shot does absolutely nothing to make you drunker. Uh, maybe something about your heart not pumping, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Thinking about that, he might drink more. Yeah. Uh, Traeger uh, matches Leos and uh, Albert, uh, and he is completely fine. Well, he is tipsy, I mean, he's not completely fine, but he is conscious and he can count to 20 and back. <laughs> uh, Leos, despite your newly added weight and you having eaten, uh, basically you and Albert like share like a liter bottle of uh, whiskey together. And... Um, I mean, I'm not gonna say you're unconscious drunk, but you'll need help getting back to your room. <laughs> nice. And Albert, 
that's a good roll. That's I mean, that's the first time roll. getting drunk in this body. Yeah. I will for sure need help. Albert seems like he can walk on his own, but... Um... He is affected by this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, well, in that case, uh, you uh, spent some of the evening drinking, and uh, I assume at some point you become drunk enough that uh, Albert gets escorted to. Well, actually, his room is basically on the same floor, so he doesn't even need to go into the hallway. He can just open the door and go into his bedroom. <laughs> she does and I suspect the rest of you also separate and head into your own rooms yes uh, um, Zardos or Asim should help Leos yeah yeah, yeah that's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll, I'll take you there. is there uh, no it's nice to be king meme ah oh, there it is How long is this? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh. <laughs> I have never seen that before. Um, Alright. Um, so, Zardus, I have news for you. You've been absent from your room for a day. It has been cleaned. Very well. Uh, no, yeah, I wasn't gonna leave it there. It was... I'm gonna move it to my uh, move the dirt to my bedroll. And... Well, if you intended to do so, you should have done it. Well, I mean, that was a plan before everything else was happening. Make me an intelligent check to see if you remembered to clean your beds. Well, there's no way I'd leave something that important. Wow. You wouldn't believe how many important things you can forget when some other important thing is happening. <clears throat> My heirloom. <clears throat> uh, Alright, sure. I'll give this to you as a first warning. You do remember to clean it up. You don't get all of it back. But you do get enough of it back. And maybe have a thought that you might want to come up with a more convenient container to carry this yeah, in. It's... Like, you know, a box. Or maybe a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, a box? Like a human-sized shaped yeah. box? <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, but you do still have your bag of dirt, even two, so you're welcome to uh, make your accommodations for the rest of the day. Um, and unless somebody wants to stop me and do something today, that's gonna be the end of the day. Good by me. Alright. In that case, the night passes. Um, a lot of you um, get a long rest. Oh, uh, this make me constitution saying throw in the morning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that one. Twelve. Damn it. You're poisoned. Ah. Yeah. Your head is ringing, and you have to rely on your own personal understanding of what a hangover means because I've never been a hangover so I can't describe it. But you're a hangover. <laughs> Gonna look for Trago too. <laughs> <Cute. laughs> no, it's fine. Actually Do you? Sure. Like, uh, well, like, you knock on his door and you're like uh, uh, Trago almost at the door. Oh hello! It is a wonderful morning, is it not? Mm, mm, and like mm. he opens the door and you're like, ah, oh, Trago, stop being so bright! <laughs> Silence is gold, my friend. 
Can you can you give me some of that good magic that that helps me get rid of poison and a hangover maybe? He looks at you, goes. You should be more careful when evaluating your own. <laughs> anyway, Next time. Just come here. Come here. Hugs you and pets on the back, and it all gets better. Ah, oh, that is nice. Thank you. All right. Yes. You may go back uh, back to uh, to 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 bed or whatever you were doing. Thank you. Yes. Um, also, in the morning, uh, you just get a delivery from the servants who bring you. Let's say uh, several sets of undergarments, uh, mm. two sets of uh, what looks like, you know, more sturdy casual clothes, and one set of more presentable clothes. All actually, this must be the best clothes you ever wore because they fit you perfectly. You. I oh, don't nice. believe Leos has ever had tailored clothes made for him. Um, no, well, actually, he would have had, but... Yeah, never nice. royal tailored clothes. Yeah, not of that high quality. Yes. Uh, yeah. and so they, they feel especially good since I didn't pay for them. <laughs> they feel twice as good, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that works. Helps a lot. Saw that, yeah. Or is there a bill coming? Oh, right. Albert forgot, because he was drinking. Anyway. Um... <laughs> And Yumi Laura uh, also get a, a box delivered to you. Uh, well, by box I mean like a locket, uh, which uh, contains uh, a jade circlet And uh, I mean, I don't believe that. Uh, have you like literally given people the money, or did you give them like said spend up to ten k? Or did you literally give them money? I figured we would have given them the money to get it right there. Alright. Uh, then in that case, uh, they returned the chest with money that has... Uh, let's see... It has uh, 7400 gold remaining. Hmm. That was sweet. sweet. I'll detract the other stuff from our mind. The Pierce's search was very successful. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Alright. So, anything you want to do in the morning? Oh, yes. I will <coughs> definitely want to check up on Neati. Right. See if she's awake, alive, able to speak. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you uh, roll into her room. Um, That's just rude. She uh, does have uh, servants uh, taking care of her. I mean, let's admit it. She's kind of important. So, a lot of care was given to her. Um, and... Uh, yeah, what do you do? Because you look like Humpty Dumpty. Ah, uh, there was that. <laughs> yes, I intend to remind you about this every possible moment. I shall mm. wallow in your misery like mm. your new body likes to wallow in buttery foods. <laughs> Well, first of all, I have all my sp spell slots back, so what misery? <laughs> no, uh, it's actually, actually, I'm, actually, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Fuck it. I'm gonna just go there in my new form. Right. In, my, in my human new body. And yeah, say, Niati, it's me, Leos. Can can I speak to you? 
I knock on the door and ask through the door. Um, I'm mean, considering the size of the rooms and the presence of servants. That's not gonna work. Oh, okay. But the well, servants case, will just, let just you in, yeah. As there are yeah. guards posted at most of your doors, actually. Like, yeah. you get your own security. Uh, it's not like it's gonna be of much help, but <laughs> it's gonna be of help, you know. Like, worst case scenarios, they're gonna be killed first, and you might wake up from their bodies clanging to the ground. Meat shield. <laughs> yes. Um, well, make me a precision check. Hmm. Persuasion check. <laughs> I'm gonna inspire myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna inspire myself. I could breach the 40, though. I'm gonna inspire myself. Just just to see if I can make it. <laughs> 48. Jesus fucking Christ. The pity is you're never gonna bridge the 50. I, 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 have, have... I, have, I have guidance. You want guidance? <laughs> too late. Yeah, too late. Ah, too late. Right. Well, achievements unlocked. Breach 40. Breach 45. Uh, uh, she is currently kind of like half sitting in the bed. She still looks uh, very pale, you know? And you see her kind of like attempt to um, wave for you, and she kind of like starts lifting her arm and then just gives up and just kind of smiles at you. Oh, good morning, Cleus. Hi. I good to see you again. Let yourself go. I wasn't watching. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> Oh, that was half a foot. Yeah, that gained. went straight to my belly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I died. And uh Melora, this is uh, one of the uh, one of Heron's Talon. Uh you might I don't know if you ever met her. Uh well she resurrected me because the gods were Dick backs and wouldn't want to let me come back into my normal body. But I have learned quite a, new, a few fascinating tricks and I can turn into my usual self anytime, but I must admit that I actually like this. I think he has very, I, I have a very charming face, very innocent. Well, it has a spark in your eyes. Certain persuaded me that that's you. <laughs> I don't think you're ever gonna be playing the piano again. <laughs> Not with those sausages. <laughs> oh, fortunately enough, there I can still reach around my flute. <laughs> that still works. Well, I yeah. I plan to give a whole briefing on what has happened. Apparently, I'm a couple months behind the schedule. Yeah. Yeah, you are. They tell me it's okay. I don't believe him. Well... Uh, the short version is that I tagged along uh, after we went hunting that guy. What was his name? Mesa? We went into that am ambush. Did I remember? Uh, <laughs> and a that's... bit after. Quite a bit after. Uh, I hear he killed the fetus as well. We almost killed all of them. Uh, if you ever saw a one eyed blue suit guy, tall, muscular, talked like a dick. Uh, killed that one as well. I ever saw him. <coughs> His bad face is the one I saw. Yeah. He's dead. 
Almost all of his agents are dead. There's just one assassin. Oh, yeah. Started a war with Gaul. Pretended to be Princess Anna. Stabbed the guy. Sorry, stabbed the prince. Couldn't intervene. There's a lot you missed. But... Come on! You don't get to say that you started a war and not say oh. what happened. Okay, so... We is Anna to okay? Go. Where is she? Anna is, Anna is on her way back. She was... Uh, she's coming from Fort Austria. What was she doing there? Why did she go there? It's ridiculous. She's a princess, not a soldier. What's that girl been doing, running around? Well, she was missing your guidance. That's for it sure. It seems everybody was. Albert <laughs> came saw me yesterday. Yeah. Drunk as a sailor. Oh, oh no. God damn it. Oh. Albert, no. You don't do that. Oh. Sorry. That was probably my fault. Well, okay, so we went to Gaul because uh, Princess Anna and uh, Jean-Luc were supposed to get married, meet people. Um, that, but it turns out that the one that we thought was Princess Anna was actually someone pretending to be Anna. And... While at those negotiations, or they were, like, having a talk, I, uh, they, Anna, so fake Anna, pulled a knife, stabbed Jean-Luc, dead, directly. Uh, things got a bit messy. I tried to chase down that imposter. And well, I had a, ch a choice to make. Um, there was Princess Anna in a huge chest, and that creature throw through like a bomb or something. I don't know into the chest. A so necklace of fireballs. Oh yeah, the a necklace, necklace of, fireballs. of delayed fireballs. Oh damn! <laughs> oh damn! Uh, well, then it was a good decision that I made teleporting that shit out. Um, well, yeah, the imposter got away. I tried to convince the family, the royal family of Gaul that this wasn't us. Talk didn't go. Well, nah. and, stack up. Yeah. Well, uh, I got. We got out of there. Uh, there was also a battle between uh, the Gaul army and our army near Fort Austria. That's I why Princess we won. It's but all alive. No. no, we didn't. We barely made it out alive because there was actually, um, yeah. So there's that guy Barris who kind of teleported in with an uh, undead army and wiped the rest of both armies. So. It was technically, I would say, what was it? Well, we, I think we have mm. more people leaving that battle alive than they did. As far as I know, they were completely wiped. But I don't know exactly what the Gaul army will do now. Um, yeah, also, there's a, an undead god uh, probably spawning at some point within the next few weeks that we have to kill. That's like the end game of Oko. To kill all creatures that are normal. So humans, elves, 
humanoids. And then monsters shall rule the world. I think that's how he said it, or several is, I don't know. How long have you gone? Since when are you doing those sword savings? Uh, pretty much since, since that ambush. It's been quite crazy. Half a year, I think, it has been. And things are just spiraling and escalating. Also, there's the Mother of Dragons oh, coming yeah. at some point. You've been with her since like two and a half months. Oh, two and a half months? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's two and a half months. You've been it's on the longer. Minota, right? Yeah. Minute, I think you arrived shortly before Minota. Yeah. And Minota was like 19th November. Oh, fuck. Like December, January, and like half of November. Well, <laughs> a crazy couple months. Eh? Well, two and a half months well, from an okay spy. To a dude who turned to the dragons. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this guy oh, should be freaking exhausted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. So, so, there is also that. You know how I. You trained me in magic? Aye. Things escalated a bit. Fine, I, escalated. I can turn into dragons. You're kidding me. Or a Kirin. Yeah. You want to see? Look me in the eye and say it again. <laughs> I look her very deep in the eye and say, I can turn into an adultish green dragon. Oh, Not all of them. I don't make persuasion check at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, sure. Because that's bullshit. Dragons don't exist. Everybody knows. Oh, that. natural one. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. She rolled a natural one as well. <laughs> <laughs> but your persuasion. Is still better than her inside because she doesn't quite have those high stats as you do. Mm. She's like, I'm gonna believe it when I see it. Well, there's definitely not enough room in here, I think, but I'm happy to show you. <laughs> it's. I can also turn into a Kirin, which is this like a mystical horse, celestial being, super awesome. Good. Uh, we also met the. Ah, oh, god damn it! There was so much. We also we also met the 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 knight, the the Mister Shine. And we took away his blade. Technically, didn't really take it away, but a bit. We were involved in him losing his blade. Well, one thing I can't say. They're much better telling stories. You can't bullshit. But it would be fun if you're true. Still, well, you've done a good job protecting the girl. Albert has said a lot of things yesterday that I'm pretty sure he didn't want to tell me. So... <laughs> are you like... Are you sitting on the bed next to her or...? Uh, no, more like sitting opposite opposite of her. Mm. Um, like on the chair next to the bed. Yeah. Yeah. She. Gonna, like, I te te tested if if it holds. Hold, she's holds. gonna kind of like motion towards you with your arm, like. Yeah. Come on, you deserve a reward. Are you are you going to lick your finger and stick it in my ear or something? Get to find out. All right, I sit on the bed. Don't worry, it took away the knife. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you like go, what? She basically like, kind of like muscles the strength and like lifts her hands and ruffles you on the hair a little bit and like pulls you in close and kisses you on the forehead. You've done a good job, boy. Thank you. It's. It's really good to have you back. Hey, I had so many visitors yesterday. There's a woman in red. Oh, fuck, she came to you. No. Uh, she Lady came Gazar. by. I hope she... You're kidding me. 
See you, Lady Kazar. Yeah. Well, technically not, technically not the Lady Kazar, but a simulacrum of her. She essentially duplicated herself in a with a spell in a weaker form, I think. Yeah. Well, quite awesome. It can. What she's doing here? And she's supposed to be in Nebo. She didn't have her own. Uh, I think uh, she was checking in on, on me because I was dead. And she was there when we fought Oko. She, she uh, allowed us to take her simulacrum with us. Since when are you on simulacrum terms with Lady Kazar? <laughs> Apparently since two and a half months. <laughs> uh, well, I worked two and a half months for it. It took us quite a while, but yeah. Well, Next thing you're gonna tell me you have an army of fun girls to come and take this god down. They say yes. They say lie I'm willing to accept. I don't know, honestly. We... Uh, they are... There's this... So there is this... There's uh, this woman, uh, she's out of character, she's a halfling, right? Who? Uh, Pippip. Gnome. 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 Okay. She might be able to take down what is to come out of this green light. But we'll try first. Oh yeah, we have to kill a god at some point. And a mother of dragons, although I do not know in which order. Which is very exciting and very... Uh, you know what? I probably go down to the kitchen and get me another jug of that juice. And I'll think about what you've just said. <laughs> okay, yeah, I hear it. When I say it all out loud in con in a row, it doesn't sound good. Oh, I have to tell you about... We we met, uh, like, a psychic fish that controlled an undead army of dwarves. And we defeated it, but... We didn't kill it, and it offered, "Hey, I can protect your brain from that uh, from from Oko, if you let me." And I s totally said yes because why not? And it gave me like a super crazy mind shield, and whenever it, it, I essentially could block uh, out all psychic communication. I think I figured it out. I mean, that sounds like a such a convoluted and crazy kind of a plot of a terrible story. I don't know what kind of a shitty author you need to be to come up with all of that. That person must just never write another <laughs> word ever again. Which means I think it's I must be dead. This must be a nightmare. I've died no. and went to hell. Nah, you're quite alive. Unless this is really hell and I think we're just alive, only to find out at some point that it's all been a lie and that I'm actually in hell. Let's not talk about it. I know it sounds crazy, but it's all true and uh, it's a lot. And I try not to think about it too much because it is quite a lot. Uh, well, I, I wasn't lying. Do go get me the juice. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Right. And Juice. get me another pill before you go. Sure. Alright. Anything else? If I'm already walking. Tell them to go easy on the kidneys. I've eaten enough <laughs> for a whole lifetime. <laughs> I will tell Jahan. I know sure. I need it, but... I want some vegetables. 
Okay, vegetables. All right. So let's say that you go yeah. and get slightly less yeah. heavy food, and you come back and you spend like a couple hours yeah. trying to tell her everything and persuade her that trying you're to not bullshitting her. her. Yeah. And yeah. like, do you want to employ any magic or something like that to aid you in that? Or how big is the room? Would it be be big enough for Kirin? For Kirin, yes. For a dragon, no, right? For a dragon, uh, uh, it's the room is big enough for a dragon, but because of the furniture, you'll most likely knock something over. So mm. that may not be the best idea. A Kirin can mm. fit. Okay, nah, I will, I will, I will uh, hold out on it, but I will. I will tell her a bit about the flute that uh, that it ha mm. that it has grown on me. How um, what I found out about it that there seems to be some draconic origin to it. Right. Um, uh, um, what was it? A bronze dragon, I think. Um, I who created not it? Sure, you know. I don't remember. Um. I think Lady Kazar mentioned that there was a bronze dragon who created it, or mm. was involved in creating it. But I'm not 100% sure. Mm. It has been quite a while since copper. we talked about it. Cop ah, copper. Fuck, copper. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, you do that, yeah. and uh, let's stop with this, because uh, Xenom is so bored here anyway. <laughs> so... Um, Zardus, anything you want to be doing this day? I want to make snacks. Aside from uh, writing down stuff in your book. Do you actually, like, do you have paper and ink and all of that? Because I yeah, don't remember I mean, when the last time you bought stuff. Yeah, definitely. Most likely I have to go grab some of that too. So... Yeah, I'll to make quick. To be Quick fair, down, like to, an hour's trip, yeah, an hour's trip between Amzosus and Gira, uh, you should be able to get, let's say, like, let's say, and go if you want to go to the both shops. Uh, 2500 golds worth of stuff. That's as much as you can get up to. Obviously, it's gonna be very bulky, the paper mostly, so uh, you'll have to put it like in the bag of holding or somewhere else, uh, but you can get that much. Yeah. Okay. How much was that? Uh, 2500. That up to 2500. Yeah. I think I need you'll spend much, like. But... An hour on the trip, because you'll need to go to like more than one shop. Like, if you want to go only to Amzus, he has 1300 basically, and then Gira has another 1200. So, up to you how much time and how much of that you want to buy. Okay. Yeah. I don't think you've been prohibited from Amzus's shop, have you? No, I came close, but no. <laughs> okay, Naros is dead. Uh, all right, yeah, so you do that, uh, and I've seen you trying to type to me, uh, so just tell uh, me. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, just, I have it. Yeah, I have it, just holding on to it for now. I'll just send me later a list of what you want to have and if you have any questions. Um, anything else you want to do? Uh, I mean, once I'm done with all that, I'd take a look at the, uh, what, the Lore of Shadow in there, just out of curiosity. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know how much time you need, because I don't know what you're writing down, so you tell me, like, how many hours did you spend writing down stuff? Oh, yeah, it's I, take I, a while. I don't remember the rules, but, like, if you're doing more than first level, that's gonna take a while. So, yeah, it's pretty much pretty much doing this all day at this point, so... All of this day, after the drinking party, right? Pretty much. Some, yeah, some of yesterday and pretty much most of today. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, let's go, like, if you're saying you're spending all day on this, let's get a lot of shadows tomorrow, because... Uh, yeah, that's what might happen. Uh, Alright, in that case, uh, Milora, what about you? You and Trager, anything you guys doing during the day? You've got your circlet. Mm. Yeah, 
just aside from us spending quality time together, man, I can't really think of anything that we. Well, I mean, we did like spend twenty minutes uh, between Leo's getting uh, uh, some private time with his fake wife. So if you wanna. Like roleplay 15 minutes of Melora and Trager cuddling, I don't mind. Trager is not here, he can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but th that's gonna be kind of awkward doing one sided cuddling. Hey, I. I, <laughs> I mean, I have seriously. control over Trager. <laughs> you have control over Combo Trager. I volunteer for cuddles. <laughs> uh, can you try, <laughs> try some can interesting you... things? <laughs> can you d uh, divine cuddle? At his uh, uh, smiting to to cuddle to give ultra <laughs> cuddles. What? I think we're going back to last week's conversation. <laughs> no, let's not let's not I was go there. Say, anyway, uh, yeah. you were saying can Trago? I was gonna say can Trago? Wait, can you hear me now? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I was gonna say can Trago cast any lightning spells? We can test and see if I can get more powerful with her. Um, her. Uh. I don't think you can. I think it's mostly just light. It has some thunder spells, but. Uh... Yeah, it's gotta be lightning specific, I think. Nope! 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 <laughs> nope! Nope! No lightning on paladins. They don't do that. Shockingly, they don't know lightning spells. What? Nobody? Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can go outside and thunderstrike yourself if you're feeling masochistic. Hey, you want to go with me and try that, Trigo? Yes. Great, you can heal me. And she grabs his hand and they run outside. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, are you gonna do cold lighting and just cold lighting yourself? Yep. And at... I think I'm gonna try it at a stronger level. Let's see. Five level nine. Level. level nine. Are you doing this at level nine? <laughs> sure. Why not? Okay. Yeah. All right. All claw attacks today. <laughs> uh, yeah, go for it. Cast the spell. I feel like kind of still adventurous from getting drunk last night. All right. So you and Trigger get a um, um, small crowd oh. of knights, uh, knight onlookers. Is it level nine? It didn't even come up for me to cast it. Hold on, I think I got it set wrong on the sheet. That looks like the does close to level nine. Call lightning. Uh, call lightning is level three. No, that's that's weather wrong. Oh, that's chain lightning. Okay, yeah, hold that's on. that's uh, yes. That's also wait. Does chain lightning do that much damage? Yeah, yeah. it does. Jeez, Louise. Mhm. Mm and eight. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's even more. <laughs> uh, is it level 9? Yeah, that's level 9. Plus yeah. 28, and you, yeah, can it's do nine this, and, and you can do this for 10 minutes. Ten minutes. 10 minutes. It lasts 10, ten minutes. minutes yeah. oh. Alright, so you get a small crowd of night onlookers who recognize both of you. And at first, like kind of like approach you and Trag with like cheers and so on and then you're like kind of like boys boys stay in the side please and you summon the thundercloud and everyone's like huh 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 <laughs> and then you go uh, I, I assume you don't try to evade it no um, this is like a bro moment <laughs> So, Julius, you are sitting in the other's room and like pouring her juice and feeding her, and then suddenly there's like a loud crack outside and a tremendous bolt of lightning just goes past the window. 
Oh, that's probably Miss Laura. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Oh, uh, oh yeah, she 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 has this whole thing about lightning and thunder. It's awesome. All right. And you, Milora, you stand in a tiny crater. Uh, all of the knights are basically in the bushes. Um, and uh, like your armor and your clothes are arcing lightning, like as it is being, you know, diverted, like the, the last of the energy is being diverted into the ground, and your hair go <laughs> fuzzy. Uh, you're completely fine. Not much aside from that. Fine. Aww. That was fun, though. <laughs> Try goes. Again? Again! Again! I call it down again. <laughs> On level 9? Yeah, she can keep cast- well... She can't keep casting the spell, but as long as it stays up, she just keeps calling down like. Oh yeah, right. Roll it. And like, there's a point where the knights kind of like start picking out from the bush, and then it goes again. And you're like again. And the wizard just hides once again. Again. <laughs> Roll it. Let's see if you can do more, because that one was fifty-four. That one is fifty-eight. Aha! Yeah, uh, once again, like, you scorch the ground beneath you. You've kind of, like, if you, if you bend down and pick up, you see that you've managed to... I don't know the word in English, but you know, like, that material when lightning hits the sand and creates this glass-type stuff. Like, you've done that to the training ground. And by this point, your hair are completely statically electric. Meaning that, despite their length, they are, like, horizontal. And you're surrounded by a halo of hair. Uh, everybody's thoroughly impressed. But you don't feel any different. Oh. And you think to yourself, perhaps, I mean, this is cool, like, magic is cool. Perhaps that's not what it's all about. Oh, it was worth a shot. It was so awesome to cast such a strong spell! And she's like all giddy and jumping. Yeah, Shrek is like... Trying to fight off your hair. <laughs> which are <laughs> sticking to him because they are electrified. And, like, do you try to hug him or. Uh. Actually, I'll, I'll say, hold up. Hold on. I need to discharge somehow. I'm yeah. worried I'll shock you. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and Drake has a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> or. I could transfer my power into you! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't think we want to risk it, though. Alright, somebody remind me to get this girl Storm of Vengeance. We need to get her to cast Storm of Vengeance one day. That's what I wa <laughs> That's what I was hoping would happen! I... Like, she do enough like, damage to There's you to and there's the a spell. Very close to it, but you keep missing it. Uh, anyway, um, uh, how do you discharge yourself? Do you know how to discharge yourself? How do you how do you discharge yourself? Uh, I would think she'd have to touch something metal. I guess. I look around. Yes. Is there anything metal, like grounded metal? Uh, there are a couple weapons that were discarded by people who were too hurrying to run away. It's like sticks it into the ground, maybe. Okay, yeah, she goes to pick up one of the swords. Does it do anything? Um. Uh, what? Yeah, actually, as you like reach your hand towards the blade and like almost reach it like a couple centimeters away from it, like you see as like lar an arc of 
electricity basically arc from your finger into the sword and leave a scorch mark on it. On the blade. Ooh. Uh. In theory, if you collide yourself enough and figure out a way to control it, you could use Melora as an arc welder. <laughs> Alright, well, any skills you want to do? Uh, all I can think of. Been wanting to do that for a while now. <laughs> I can tell from your voice. <laughs> um, at some point during the day, I would like to send a message to to the real Lady Kazar. Alright. Um, probably at some point when maybe Niyati gets too tired of talking and wants to go to sleep. Yeah, uh, yeah like, you, you get to talk to Niyati for like two and a half hours, and then you just see that she's kind of like falling asleep. Okay. Let me, I will, I will check, um, if, uh, uh, the wording and... <laughs> uh, alright, um, Rasim, what about you? Anything you want to do during the day? Just... Roam around no, the castle, you. eat some snacks. Yeah, yeah chill invisibly, you know. <laughs> look out, look at, just stalk a couple of people. <laughs> kind of oh, d d you wanted to do a doppelganger hunt. Shape change. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense, yeah. Basically just have people line mm. up and uh, I'm just also going to be... Walking around the castle, having a look at all of the interesting people um, around. Make me perception check. Sure, my passive is 22. Sure. Where is my stat block? Um, there. Right. 22. 22? Uh, you, uh, yeah, let's say at some point in the day you bring like that idea once again to of the king and he gives out a couple orders uh, to not make this uh, very obvious uh, but basically to organize a couple situations where like most of the guards that are not currently in the castle will be like at some mm -hmm. point like training somewhere or something and you can just like walk among the ranks and observe all of them Mm -hmm. And like orders, uh, uh, like assembly between the servants to, like discuss the current events and what the council is gonna be doing to you know blah 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 you know, it's basically a PR HR meeting that mm. you get to walk in on. Yep. And so when do I discover um, how many? How many country what? Has. Changelings this country has. Uh, Alright, uh, roll me 3d6. <laughs> oh. Okay. Right. Uh, six people from the servants are actually wearing wigs, but none of them are shape changers. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um... All right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. I posted my message to Lady Kazar in the chat in row twenty. Okay. Um. Right. 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 Sure. That. 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 All right. Okay. Last question for the day. Anybody else want to do anything else? Uh, in that case, uh, Leos, a bit later you get a response from Lady Kazar. Um, get a response from Lady Kazar. Um, I I'm gonna calculate this because I might need all the 25 words. Mm -hmm. uh, let's use the power of technology for this.
Tum -tum. All right. You get a response. I am in Shenefell, found the city, warded, impenetrable, hordes of dead. The fight here would be harsh. City will shift soon. I shall follow. Oh fuck! And that's where we're gonna end the session tonight. <laughs>